Hello and welcome back to another Roller Coaster Tycoon playthrough video! Today we have the last of the expert parks, which is Thunder Rock, where the objective is to get 900 guests into this tiny little weird rock uh, area. And as you can see, the terrain is going to be very challenging to work with. Although I guess it's not going to be too difficult to put rides up top, but this space down here is kind of uh, cramped. Uh, to start with, let's delete this chairlift. I don't think it's really serving any purpose. It's kind of in the way. Uh, let's delete the path that was connected to it. Get our money back from it. Get out of the way, peeps! This guy's mad. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Hey, look at that face. <laughs> but the problem will be fixed shortly. You will have rides to ride and fun things to do. Uh, get, get guys, get out of there. Okay, uh... First of all, let's put it back in the bath. Amber D and Catherine R. Okay, so the way to get up top is this single... Is this the only path? Yeah, I think that's the only way to get up since we deleted the, the, the chairlift. Uh, that's fine. So if there's ever, if there's a, you know, a natural disaster or a global catastrophe, you're all stranded! <laughs> let's start building rides. Let's see what we got. We have a Ferris wheel. Let's, uh, let's, uh, tuck it. Tuck it into this little space, kind of. Maybe this isn't a good spot for it. Um, hmm. This kind of works. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot easier than it looks. Um, it, I mean, there's a 900 guests. There's not a, not a lot to get once you understand the soft guest cap. And all of this space up here should be really easy to work with. Unless there's some kind of vertical height limit I'm not aware of yet. So I'm not too worried about it. And I guess these wasted tiles here can just be used for shops and stalls and such. So let's just build this little Ferris, Ferris wheel. Oh no, I messed up my path. Put it back. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, this is on. Ah, oh, I'm scatterbrained. Uh, is this a paper entrance park? It is not. It's a paper ride park. Perfect. Okay. Let's actually turn the music on for this. Summer style. What a cute song. All right, let's build ourselves a haunted house right here. And put the entrance there. Oh, this is such a pretty song. Whoops. Wait, you can click on this? Ah, oh, look at that! <laughs> I'm such an RCT2 player. I, I'm. This is my first uh, first time ever playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, or playing this scenario in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. I opened the scenario like an hour ago to kind of look around at it, but I haven't ever played this before. This is all new to me, and you can probably tell. <laughs> In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, for those who don't know, this little ribbon at the bottom isn't here. It, it pops up when a notification appears, but otherwise it's gone. In Open RCT 2, you have the power to change the theme. See if I can find where the, uh... Aha! Theme! So this is what it looks like in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. You see there's no ribbon. And then if I change this back to Roller Coaster Tycoon 1... To be in theme with the playthrough that we are doing. There we go. So yeah, this is not Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. This is actually Open RCT 2, which is like a modded version of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 with uh, that is able to play the Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 scenarios. Although I have to say it's probably a bit easier than it is in the base game because I have uh, access to some tools and controls that are not in the base game and other various bug fixes and quality of life improvements. Like, see how I did this path? In Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, it would have immediately snapped to this path, and then it wouldn't have let me continue snaking it around like that without some deletion of these paths and kind of just a headache. So I'm blessed to play this through uh, Open RCT 2. I've been thinking of releasing a video playing the original vanilla game, but uh, the problem with that is, unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 is not capable of going full screen. Or it is, you can go full screen, but there's no resolution meant to fit uh, 1080p, which is what this monitor is. So to compensate, it stretches it really badly. So I could maybe do that? I, I don't want to. I've seen videos on YouTube of people who just rolled with it and just didn't care. Maybe I should just do that and say, it's, it is what it is and just go with it. But I don't, I don't know, I'm a perfectionist. I don't like it like that. Where do I put this? Um, 
There we go. Yeah, like this right here. Not able to do that in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. I tried it. I played uh, a bit a bit of Forest Frontiers. It was annoying, to say the least. But that's because I'm spoiled with this. This game made life easy for me. And this music is starting to annoy me. I like the song, but it's too loud. Let's uh, make it something a little less intrusive, like Gentle Style. There we go. Nice. Now, let's see. We have Roller Coasters. We have a Looper. Let's build a super compact Looper Duper. Super Duper Looper right here and uh, let's see do I have room to loop here <laughs> not really <laughs> unless I do the the cheeky cheesy money maker as I call it <laughs> just for funsies let's uh let's turn it on and see what it does uh, power launch without passing station this might also be something unique to Roller Coaster Ty or Open RCT2, as I'm not sure this control is available in the vanilla game. It, I think in the vanilla game it launches and then comes out the back. Uh, but anyway, let's see what this does at the minimum speed. Oh, that's pathetic. Okay, let's try 27. 27 miles per hour! Let's go! Woo! Okay, a little bit faster. Let's try 31 and cross our fingers it doesn't fly through the loop and crash. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Okay. Yeah. So let's open this. What are the stats? Oh, not bad. I think we could charge maybe $5 for this. Maybe $6? Ooh, log flume. Nice. We'll build that later. Uh, let's build a proper roller coaster up on this plateau. Like a wooden roller coaster, because this is my favorite kind of roller coaster. I think... Here's a good spot. Let's see. Here's another feature that's not in the vanilla game is this little roller coaster preview that lets me uh, test as I build so I can get a live feedback of the behavior of the roller coaster, which is really, really nice. This is not in the base game. I wish it was, uh, but this uh, makes life really easy. Okay. I might do videos of the vanilla version of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, just because those are a little more agreeable than Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. But I'm not convinced yet. Maybe I will, but... I don't know. It's hard. Although that is what I grew up with, so it's not a big deal. It might make these playthroughs look more uh, legit, if anything. Let's start that a little earlier. Never mind, that doesn't work. What if we go the... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Life room to flatten out. Oh, no, there's a hill on the way. <laughs> no. That would have been so cool. Well, I keep... Why do I do this? I always whine that I can't fix the problem. And I, I can fix the problem. I have money. I can just do this. Instead of whining like a baby about it. <laughs> okay. How tall is this? This is 150 feet tall, so we have to start leveling out now to 140, and that might not be... We may not have enough momentum to make that hill. Let's see. Oh, we barely did it. Okay. That's good. And we're already taking up like half of this space. Let me, let's maybe not do that. <laughs> I'm getting carried away here. I don't know. I like designing roller coasters. I'm sorry. And that's not going to work. And that's not going to work. Maybe if we go wide and then narrow. Assuming we don't have too much lateral g-force. Yeah, look at that. Right over the right over the lift hill. And that is what we call a head chopper. And I think that'll actually buff the stats of the roller coaster. So let's watch our preview to kind of get an idea of how fast it's going to take that turn. Oh, that's not too terrible. I like that. Nice. And now can we go up parallel? We cannot. What if we straighten out first? Maybe slip a photo section in as a spacer. There we go. So now we have two parallel hills going up together. Although because this is a gradual hill, we're going to lose a lot of momentum very quickly. So let's not make that too tall. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. What's in the way? Oh, another head chopper. Entirely by accident. I wasn't. I didn't even plan that. 
That's not gonna work. Okay, um... And that's not gonna work. I think we need to swing out of this spot. I trapped myself. Crap. Maybe I should flatten out. There we go. I think we've made this long enough. Let's return to the station. I say long. It looks small, but that's because it's twisting and winding in on itself. So, uh-oh. Oh, I have to give it space first. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking butter. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. All right. So let's put some brakes on to 18. A bit of a spacer there. That's not going to work. Uh, maybe an S-Bend? We have to go down 15 feet. And we don't have room to do that. Maybe I should start doing that here. So now I'm five feet higher than I'm supposed to be. There we go. Oh wait, there we don't go. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Uh, brakes first. Brakes first so we don't break someone's neck on this tight turn. <laughs> oh no, I'm out of money, I spent it all. How much of a lump can I, oh shoot. Oh shoot, 15,000 is the most we can take. That could be a problem. Oh dear. I think I'm gonna retroactively uh, edit the station and make this a little bit longer by doing this. Here we go. And now instead of that funky, weird flat piece, we could just do this wide piece and it looks more seamless. So it's like accidentally better. That is two trains, right? Okay, perfect. Let's turn the lift hill speed up to the maximum of five miles per hour and fire away. Woo! Oh, we get purple trains, that's kind of cool. And while we're waiting on that lift hill to do its thing, let's place our entrance and exit paths. That should do. Let's follow roller coaster one in main view and watch our uh, watch our lateral G's. That's what I'm most concerned with, with that little tight turn, but I think we'll be okay. Oh boy, we crossed uh, the threshold of two, but I, it's not too terrible. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, this will be a this will be a winner. I know it. Woohoo! All right, let's get our stats back. Well, first of all, release the camera. Let's speed this up. I don't want to wait. Oh, not bad. Not the best. I would have preferred the excitement to be higher than six. Yeah, but it's close. It's very close. So let's change this to uh, a reasonable fourteen dollars, and set this to three fifty. Yay! Information kiosk. Would have been nice to have that uh, sooner, <laughs> because it rained earlier. And the reason I say that is because you can charge $20 for the umbrellas if it is raining. And people will pay it, because they are desperate and they will pay anything to get out of the rain. If they have it in their pockets, that is. So now that we have one, two roller coasters, and three flat rides, we might be able to start charging at the gate and optimize this park here. So this guy spawned with 70 this guy spawned with 50. Oh dear, 50 might be the most we can charge. The tidiest park in the country. That's by accident. I don't even have any handyman. <laughs> I forgot to hire staff. <laughs> yeah, it won't be tidy for long. I can assure you of that. Let's see, another guy with 50. Lots of people are coming to the park. They must have been generated because of the new roller coaster. That's something I didn't understand in my earlier playthroughs, especially in the earlier Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 playthroughs, if you've seen those, as I keep commenting about how big my roller coaster is and how great the stats are, and how, oh no, $40, and how that's going to draw people to the park. That's not how it works. The way it works, based on an analysis done by more technical players like Marcel Voss, is individual rides have a soft guest cap, which is essentially the potential number of rides it can generate. So I think a wooden roller coaster is 95, and flat rides are somewhere in like 30 to 50 or somewhere in that zone. So to get more people into the park, you just have to spam rides, basically. Like this. This is going to draw a lot of people into the park, even though it's small and cheap. So it's very cheeky to just spam a lot of rides like this and just easily win. So in the spirit of playing the game properly, I don't want to just spam those. Unless, well, maybe if I beat the scenario like two years early, I might just want to see how far I can push it and start spamming them. But otherwise, I try my best to play it at least somewhat how it's supposed to be played. 
But that's entirely subjective. There is no right way to play this game. Anyway, seeing as the most people come to the park with is $40 in their pocket, I might just leave this at zero and do this park like I've done most of my other parks, which is charging per ride, which is perfectly legit. You can still get all their money from them, although I think I might be able to charge more for this. Let's see, will you pay 15? Okay, yeah, people are paying 15. I'll have to check back on this to make sure people still pay it. Now we have $5,000 left over. I think we should build our log flue. Now let's build it over here. Yeah, right over here. Here's another ride that's a bit different from, uh, in, uh, I'm not sure if it's just different in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 or, in, I don't know. So in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, I'm getting carried, I'm getting tongue tied here. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, the number of cars you get is determined by the length of the station. But an open RCT2 is determined by the length of the track. And I think it's like that in Vanilla Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 as well. I'm not sure though, I have to check. But if you look at the pre-builds, like Splash Mine is from Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you see it has one, two, three, four tiles of the station. But I'm pretty sure before I before I installed Open RCT2 years ago, I uh, was able to turn up the number of boats from four to like 20 something. So I think it is in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. You have uh, the number of boats is determined by the length of the, of the track, not the length of the station. Which is cool, because it makes it much more, much easier to design these. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's delete that bath. Make Mr. Orange Shirt get lost. Fix that like that. There we go. Uh-oh. I think we need to S-Band. S-Band left. Flatten out. Can I go straight here? Oh, look at that. We can go straight. Or we can just turn. Oh, look at that. That's neat. Can we make it? Oh, man. If only we could go over it. That would be so cool. Maybe if I go straight here first. Ah, oh, but now the ground's in the way. But that can be fixed. That can be fixed. There we go. It's a little bit expensive. $20, but not the end of the world. Now we can go over the track like this. Nice. I need to see this from another angle, see what I'm doing here. Um, yeah. So let's go around like this and reconnect to the station. The station's at 95 feet, so this needs to come down by five feet. Or maybe go down by two tiles and then go up one. There we go. Nice. Let's fire this thing up. It starts at 14. I'm not sure why the default is not the maximum, but let's max that out. Turn this down to maybe three seconds, or maybe four seconds, and test. And while it's testing, build the path. There we go. Okay, that only took a few thousand, that's good. So I'm not sure what the loan interest is. I think, uh, I think we took out the, the, the rest of it in April, so it's probably only gonna, be, only gonna be about $20 a month, which is not bad. That's not bad at all, especially compared to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, where it actually tells you what the percentage is, and it's like 10%, 15%, or even 20% in some scenarios. Granted, that's divided by the number of months, so that's 20 divided by 12, so it's only like 1.5% or something, but that's still a lot. And with a big loan, that comes out to hundreds of dollars a month, which is awful. So let's advertise and get some money so we can pay this loan down so we stop losing money, even if it's just $20 a month, <laughs> like this. I don't want to wait for this. Let's speed it up. Ooh, Corkscrew Roller Coaster. Yeah, the Corkscrew Roller Coaster has access to the most ridiculous spam coaster of all, which I have nicknamed the Cheeky Cheesy Moneymaker, and I can claim mine is different from Marcel Voss's because I stuck a, I stuck a photo section on it. <laughs> Although it might even be more optimized without it, I don't know. Because it makes the duration of the ride longer. But then occasionally you sell photos from it, so I don't know. I don't know. So maybe I'll build one of those. But then if we meet the objective early, yeah, we're already like more than a third of the way there. If we meet the objective early and just want to see how far we can push it, I might start spamming those just as a heads up. Okay, we have our stats back after the... There we go. Stats back. Let's charge. Can I charge? 
No, not that. <laughs> $13, maybe. $350 for photos. Will people pay $13 for the log flume? Come on, peeps. You know you want it. You know it looks like fun. That was a big nope. Okay, it looks like 13 is too much, so $12 might actually be the optimal price. <laughs> Come on, peeps. Someone. There's a taker. Okay, yeah, $12. Well, probably twelve dollars and some cents, but I like whole numbers. That's a that's the uh, the optimal number. What kind of theme, scenery do we have? I almost said themery. I don't know what my deal is. Like the past few uh, videos, I've like gotten really tongue-tied and started making up words. Like I started calling these Ferris go rounds and Maris go wheels. <laughs> what even is that? <laughs> but I didn't used to do that. I'm not sure what my problem is. It's like a, it's like my my ability to speak English is degenerating. Oh, for goodness sake! Let's let's build this and open it, but not turn the music on, because this music keeps getting me in trouble to this day. Like the late the latest one, I got in trouble from Warner Chappell. What the? That's not supposed to go there. Yeah, Sony and Warner Chappell claimed copyright claimed uh, my previous video. So I actually had to take it down and re-upload it before it went public. But that was after I went into my editor and turned the volume of the of the merry-go-round. Merry-go-round. Yeah, for some reason in my tongue that sounded wrong in my head, and I I read it and it's correct. The merry-go-round. The music in the merry-go-round, several corporations like Sony, Warner Chappell, and a bunch of other weird weird named corporations I've never heard of keep copy claim copyright claiming it. Or maybe they're not doing it, it's actually YouTube's content ID system detecting it. But I'm scared to dispute it because you can be penalized by YouTube for uh, for fraudulent disputes. Now I can claim that that's the thing, is that I don't know what these corporations are, so I really don't have any way to know if Chris Sawyer, the creator of Roller Coaster Tycoon, has outsourced the management of his IP, his intellectual property, to third-party corporations like Sony or Warner Chappell. Warner Chappell, however you say that. But I'm pretty sure they're not both authorized or both in control of it, so one of them is full of crap. Or at least YouTube's content ID system is. I suspect it's I, I suspect it's a bot, uh, a YouTube bot that's detecting the melody, and since it's since it's identical to the melody of some of these corporations' own recordings, then YouTube is marking it as a copyright infringement. And, you know, you can only go so far with bots. AI is great, but it can only do so much. And what I mean by recordings is, like, for example, let's take, like, the William Tell Overture. That is open... Anyone can use that. Anyone can record that. Anyone can monetize their own version of that because it's, uh, it's Creative Commons. It's so old that no one owns it. It's like everyone owns it is how that works. But if I create, if I create a recording with like myself performing it, I own that recording. And if someone else tries to use my recording in their video and monetize it, that's a copyright infringement because they're using my recording. So I think what's happening is YouTube is failing to uh, distinguish between the recordings of the music that uh, Alistair Brimble created for the merry-go-round and the recordings owned by these corporations. So what I have been doing in the past is just disputing it. And what typically happens is no one replies, so within 30 days it gets dropped. <laughs> so I can monetize it just fine. But now that I'm officially monetized, I'm scared that something will I'll get penalized if I do, do it wrong or something. I'm rambling. It's time to build a roller coaster. Now the question is where? I kind of took up all my workable space. Let's build it over here. Build it up in the air a little bit like that. Okay, and how long of a train do we get? Very long. There we go. Two trains. Perfect. Now let's turn it and lift hill. And go right next to the log flume. Isn't that neat? Now we're over the log flume. Let's flatten it. Oh, the log flume's in the way. Darn it. Um, huh. Instead, let's do this. We're at 180 up to 170. That should be fine. And steep drop. 
know, I wonder if maybe what we're supposed to do is we have all this vertical height available to us because of the, uh, because of the, 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 there we go, because of this, uh, rock. So we could go, let's see how far down I can go. I can go way down. Oh, wait, no, it's too low. <laughs> but yeah. Uh-oh, I can't do that. Let's go down. Oh, no. Down one more time. Flatten out. I might be able to pop out the front here. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. Let's drop this down. Let myself out. And drop this corner down. There we go. And just to, uh, just to maintain immersion, we're going to put a uh, wire fence around this so people don't fall in and hurt themselves. So this will be like, this will be here to like scare the crap out of people as the roller coaster comes roaring out of the ground. <laughs> can you imagine, can you imagine sitting on benches right here, just eating your hamburger or eating your cotton candy or something, and then out of nowhere, a freaking roller coaster comes roaring out of the ground behind you. <laughs> you probably have a heart attack. <laughs> Let's see, that is the edge of the park. Oh no, it's too, oh, it's too high for supports. That's a problem. Okay. So now I have to cross my fingers that from 170 to 110, we're not going to have too many negative vertical Gs here. Because that could be a problem. Or I just go up one more tile and make this a little tighter. Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. But this looks kind of janky, though. Let's see how fast it comes out. Okay, I might be able to get away with making this a little shallower. Let's go half loop to 145. Never mind, that's too. Uh, that's gonna be way too hot, way too fast. Maybe if we, uh, I'm out of money again. I'm completely out of money actually. <laughs> Maybe I should stop making stuff and start saving because I'm getting carried away. <laughs> let's let's delete all this for now. Well, yeah, I do have the hole there, so maybe I'll leave it half half constructed and get back to it when I have money to uh, build this. Otherwise, we're going to get in trouble here. Okay, I'm not sure how deep we went, so... Oh, there we go. I did it perfectly. Perfecto. One more, so we don't have too many uh, uh, neck-breaking Gs on this. Okay, we're going to leave this for now. Although I'm going to make sure the white ghost train is gone, just to maintain immersion, just so it doesn't look weird. Now let's spam some flat rides. Let's see, we could have another one of these somewhere. Perhaps, perhaps right here. Yeah, something like that. You're probably looking at this going, what are you doing? There's a, there's a freaking wall there. Well, there is a wall there. And now I'm inside the wall. Woohoo! <laughs> that's how I had it, that's how I did it. Okay. So let's open this, set this to $2, because we have two of them, which means we can't charge as much for either of them. Never mind, this is already $2. Okay. So that's optimized. That's good. Let's build some more, maybe... Oh, Spiral Slide. Perfect. This is a very compact ride, which is just what we need. Let's build it right here. Max number of people up to five. 150 is a default. We'll leave it there. I probably can't charge any more than that, especially if I build more of these. I actually have an idea. If I come around like this, and then go into the mountain, like this, now I have three tiles of space, and I can build these like this. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Fancy that. Isn't that special? And one more right here. Just almost the same color, but different enough that I think it's okay. Different shade of red and different shade of white. It's like a creamy white. Anyway. And they're all still paying the default price. That's that's a good sign. Now, what are we researching? Oh, a new throw light, because all we have is the twist. That is one thing I miss about Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is the ride variety. There was a lot more thrill rides available typically in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. But Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 has this incredible charm to it. I really like it. Let's see, how much is this earning? Oh, not bad. 
So yeah, this is just a waiting game at this point. We are set. We just have to wait for these rides to generate more income. Like, this one's doing 31,000 per hour. Not bad. I am seeing a lot of vomit, though, so let's hire a few more handymen and place down some benches for people to sit so they don't uh, vomit everywhere so they can settle their stomachs. Let's see. And these supports look really janky. Can I potentially... Maybe... Oops, I need this tab. If I come down and grab this steel support... But then I color it brown, or no, color it white, because that's the color of the roller coaster. There we go. It kind of looks like it's part of it. Delete this. Yeah, this kind of fixes the immersion, but it doesn't look the same, though. It's like a different shade. Well, it's not a different shade. It's just a, it's a different uh, material. It's a brighter white. I'm pretty sure we have triangle top pieces like this. What is this, corrugated metal? That's fine. It's good enough. Oh, whoops. That should be lower. No, <laughs> why is that not working? Never mind, we'll, we'll forget it. It's fine. Let's get back to building our benches and uh, sort out this vomit problem. I wonder how many people get sick on the merry-go-round because it turns. I might get dizzy if I look at it long enough, you know? Let's see. I know the log flume is not going to generate a lot of vomit, but just to be safe, we have some benches close to the exit. Okay, I think that's it for the upper level. Now let's place some on these little uh, these uh, landings here. You know, I was doing con I was doing construction in college, and one of the classes I had to take was an OSHA an OSHA class, and I learned that uh, there the re the reason why a lot of uh, staircases, the big ones, have landings on this, it's not just for convenience, but it's actually a requirement for safety. Like if, uh, where'd it go? Oh, it's up here. <laughs> My zoom got me so lost. No! Why is it not zooming to where... Hold on, I think I may have unchecked something in my settings. Because it's supposed to zoom to where my cursor is. Yes, my cursor is up there. Why is it doing that? That's weird! Okay, in the vanilla game, it's actually not the case, but in, in Open RCT 2, it's supposed to zoom to where my cursor is. Something's wrong here. Zoom to cursor. Yeah, it's checked. Okay, whatever. As I was saying, the, uh, no, uh, let me up. As I was saying, staircases are required to have a landing uh, at certain intervals of vertical feet in the U.S., or maybe meters and everywhere else in the world. Well, OSHA is an American corporation. I'm sure there's an, uh, an equivalent in other parts of the world, safety requirements. But OSHA, at least, has this requirement for landings. I don't remember what the interval is, though. Well, maybe it's not OSHA. Maybe it's a code thing. I don't remember. It's been a while. Now I need garbage cans to mitigate any litter problems, since we have food stalls. I think that was a bench and I just ruined it. <laughs> there was someone sitting in it. Okay. Man, Gentle Style is so iconic. I love this song. It's so peaceful, which is interesting because it's in a minor key. And typically in minor keys, you expect it to be more sad or negative. But instead, it's more just, uh, contemplative, contemplative, however you say that. And it's really pretty. Okay, that's it for trash cans. Let's get back to ride building. Let's see, what does our income look like? So we're earning about uh, $6,000 a month in ride tickets as of June. This is August, it's already August 4th, or August 5th, so we're a sixth of the way through and we only have 700, that's not good. Did our uh, ad campaigns expire? Yeah, they expired, that might be why. Let's advertise La Flume, booyah. Has anyone played Jack and Daxter? Because if you have, I'm gonna name this Geyser Rock. Because uh, I put geysers on it and it's on top of a rock, so. I think I just spelled geyser wrong. 
<laughs> Let me look it up. How do I spell geyser? Uh, that's such a weird word. Geyser. Oh, there's an E in there. Okay. Another E. Right there. Now, let me click it. Oh, man. I can bring the cursor back. Geyser rock. That looks... Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Geyser rock. Fixed it. Now, what do I call this? Uh... Hmm. Sheer cliff. I think I spelled shear wrong. That's like shear, like shearing sheep. Uh, is that supposed to be two a two e's? Uh, I don't know how to spell <laughs> shear. Yes. Okay. Just as I thought, I spelled the wrong kind of shear. <laughs> I think that's the verb shear, like shearing a sheep. There we go. Shear cliff or shear cliffs. I don't know. A plural name. Screw it. It is. It's fine the way it is. Let's get back to designing this ride, because I'm getting carried away here. Um, I think we were going to put... We were going to put a uh, inversion here, but I have a feeling this is going to be way too fast for that. Because we went from 170... Oh, wait, no. 155. I take that back. I think we're okay. Well, before I had it with a helix down, which might be why. So that's a difference of 10 feet. And that 10-foot difference makes it safe. Go right. No, 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 come back. <sighs> Look at how that chews up our money. And this, this lift hill is way too slow. Okay, moment of truth. And I think that went through that hill gentle enough that it's not going to... Uh, break someone's collarbone on their restraints, so I think we're okay. Although I don't want to bunch the track up right here, that looks silly, so uh, let's come out of that. And we have somehow managed to run into our hill. <laughs> let's make this a little tighter. There we go. Now, what are we under? Uh, no, that seemed to work, so it's fine. And there's a merry-go-round there. So let's build around that. Uh, flatten out. I'm not sure if we have... If this is going to be too fast for that tight of a turn. But we're going to try it. We're going to see how it works. I forgot a photo section, so let's put that in right real quick. Right there. I think we should bring this back to the station now, also because we're running out of cash. And we need this to be open so it starts contributing to our to our soft guest cap. Oh, perfect. And the woody is 85 feet up. Whoops. This part of the track, so we should be able to go right over it. Okay. So let's uh, have some breaks here. 18. Let's actually put 13 here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I think this is ready to test, and I think it will be safe. So that's good. Okay, let's test this. Let's find train 1 and follow it. And while we're here, let's paint it, because I don't want it to blend with the with the wooden roller coaster, which has white supports. So let's make this track purple. For no particular reason other than I like it. Purple and yellow, complementary colors. And the trains can be uh, not gray. White, maybe? Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Red and yellow is cool. Okay, let's watch our G-forces here. Let's, let's watch these negative Gs, see if it's too much. Ooh! We crossed the threshold of two, but it was okay. I think it's okay. Okay, so far so good. And a rather abrupt stop on the brakes, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, 
So I think this is I think this is a winner. Let's see what the stats look like. Not bad. And we actually got higher than than 6. So this has uh, this is better stats than the Woody. Huh. Well, that's good. I mean, I like wooden relinquishes better, but I I'm glad it has better stats. Okay. And now, let's build the uh, entrance here. And I think we should save this space right here for a flat ride, so let's build away from that. Like this. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I'm sure we could easily charge $16 for this one. I think it is the stats for it. Oh, look at that. They're like in sync with each other. That's almost like a dueling coaster. That was cool. <laughs> Will anyone pay 16 Whoa, where are we? What did I take me down there for? <laughs> this scenario is hard just because of that. That's annoying. Why doesn't it zoom to where my cursor is? That might be an open RCT2 bug. That's the funny thing is uh, open RCT2 fixed some bugs in the original game, but it, it also introduced its own bugs. There we go, 16, perfect. All right. Let's restart these since they have expired. Let's advertise the Corkscrew Roller Coaster. And I'm, I'm going to name this Ultraviolet. There we go. Although I might change the color of the sports for that. Now it's fine the way it was. Alrighty, what's next? Oh, we... Yay, we have a pirate ship. Nice. Let's find a spot for this. Maybe down below. Maybe we should save the space above for roller coasters and put most of our flat rides down here. With exceptions, of course, because this is a roller coaster, obviously. Although I did say I wanted to put a flat ride in here. Is there room for it up here? Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at that. And then this space could be for the queue line. Actually, bad idea, bad idea. Because I don't want to make the, the, the pathway all weird and wonky. Stonks. Uh, let's put this here. Look how perfectly it tucks in there. Nice. Okay. And with that, we are set. Perfect. And now we're going to make some mega umbrella sails because of the rainstorm. Let's find our kiosks. I know we have two of them. There's one over here. Here we go. See, $20. They will pay anything for umbrellas when it's raining because they're desperate to get out of the rain. Also, fun fact, I learned from Marcel Voss in one of his videos that, uh, that, uh, indoor rides... Oh my gosh, why does the zoom do this to me? Indoor rides like the haunted house... Whoa! <laughs> indoor... What the heck? Indoor rides like the haunted house are more popular. Although it looks like it's too expensive because no one is riding it. Yeah, that's annoying. Maybe it was too expensive at $2. Okay. Anyway, let's build more stuff. What are we working on right now? Classical Roman theme. Cool. That's not useful to us, though, so I'm going to turn scenery off because we need this stuff. Turn water rides off. Well, I guess we could keep water rides on. We might get river rapids or something. These are all the same things that we had already. Maybe put this there. So ice cream for a buck forty. Will people pay a buck forty for it? Two people just turned away. Uh, what are their thoughts? Are they saying it's too expensive? No thoughts. So maybe they just weren't interested. Interesting. Let's look at what the next steps are. Let's try to turn our loan down a little bit. Just a few more ticket sales, and we can turn it down another thousand. Come on, peeps! Give me money! It looks like this is too expensive now. I'm not paying that much to go on sheer cliffs! Alright, fair, fair enough. Let's turn it down to 14. Will you pay 14 for it? Still too much. How about 13? Okay, these guys are broke. There we go. Now people will pay for it. Yeah, this is one of our big earners. We can't... We have to be vigilant and catch stuff like that. Well, not you guys. I have to be... <laughs> <laughs> you're not here. You're here now, but when I'm recording this, I talk I talk about it like you're sitting here with me. Because I, I think it'd be like my friends, you know. But I have to remember that you're not actually here yet. Let's see. What else can I build? Do we have any more flat rides that I missed? 
Nope, same old stuff. So let's uh, work on our spamage a little bit. Put this there. And this is these are wasted tiles, but it's not wasted if I start building underground. Oh yeah, classical Roman theming. Now the hard part is going to be getting the height right. So for example, if I punch a hole in the cliff, let's actually just do this right now. Let's go through, maybe connect this up. Height marks on paths. So this, oh, uh, why does it do this? Negative 30, my goodness. I can't actually see through the, <laughs> hide vertical faces. There we go, much better. Oh wait, I didn't do that right. Uh, There it goes, now it's connected. So now we bring this over to the other side and pop out, uh, where are we? See through rides. There we go, look at that. Now everything turns back on, perfect. Let's open this. Price is 150, I think we can leave it like that. This guy's broke, are you broke? You don't even have a buck 50, dude. <laughs> Oh, he spent all his money. Well, that's good, I guess. That actually got me thinking. Is 150 too much since we have so many of them? It was the default price, but the default price could just be wrong. Okay, no, they're writing it. Okay, we're fine. So, as I was saying, let's uh, hide vertical faces. Uh, height marks on ride tracks. And height marks on paths. That way, we can spam these by doing this. I uh, missed. Let's move it over. Maybe a few more tiles over. Well, here's the problem. I have to guess where it would land underground. Well, I guess this works. We have a few tiles of extra space. No! Come back! Oh man! See through. Uh, hide vertical faces. Hide base land. There we go. <laughs> Now, grab this control. Look at that. Completely invisible. It's underground. And then this will go here. Connect with the path. Perfect. So now we can open that. And there we go. We just uh, inflated our soft guest cap with another flat ride, but we don't even see it. So stuff like that. That's how we, how we win, I guess. Speaking of winning, we're almost there. We only need like 100 more, and we're only in year one. How many years do I get? I think it was four. Four years. Ah, oh, this is going to be a long day. <laughs> we are <laughs> we're so close already. We're not even done with year one yet. We could probably win in year one. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Uh, but we are winning our money backs. So let's uh, let's pay the... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Restart these. Let's uh, do the wooden roller coaster again. Where to go? Sheer cliffs. And build up our infrastructure get our path system going around everything. Or maybe I should save all this vertical space and build the path inside the cliff. And just remember at all times that there is a path there. This is going to be janky. You're going to see all these rides and you're not going to see the, where the people are. <laughs> but I'm doing this because you can't build rides halfway into the cliff face. Which is annoying, I feel like you should be able to do that, but it doesn't let you in this game. You can have trains or tracks go in and out of it if it's straight, but you can't have rides halfway in it and halfway out of it. So by doing this, I'm allowing myself to use all of this flat space. Oh, there's a lot of trash in my park? What about my garbage cans? Eh, looks like I have to hire more handyman. But yeah. So, hacks. That's what this is, hacks. Not hacks, uh, cheeky, cheesy... Not cheats, but I'm cheesing it. <laughs> There's nothing in the rules against this. And now I'm out of money. This is kind of expensive, though. So this isn't... I wouldn't say this is cheek, cheeky at all. This is very expensive. What the heck? October 11th. So let's see if we can get 180... More, whoa. Yeah, yeah. 100 more guests in the last 20 days of this year. So yeah, it looks bare, but there's rides there, you just can't see them. So let's have another one of these, perhaps. Or maybe a space with four. Where's the space with four? Or maybe I should be saving my four spaces. Or no, we'll do it like that, because I want a queue line for this one. Let's open it. 
to see that. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Stop doing that. No, ah, now I have to do this. <laughs> you see the path? And now people are actually getting in line and it's popular because it's raining. That's neat. Default price, I'm gonna leave it where it is. That's just there to inflate the soft guest cap. No cap. And then that connects. Oh wait, did I actually? Oh no, I did this differently, whoops. Let's actually, no, 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 no. Build that, build that out. Delete that one, there we go. Now I can build the key line right there and it connects. Perfect. Wait, why'd I do this? I just wasted all this space. Uh, uh, hold on. Um, hmm, yeah. Uh, it, I don't know. We'll put scenery there. Why not? We got put scenery there. Like a Sphinx, which serves no purpose. <laughs> it's just, yeah. I put in the wrong spot. No, I wasted $40. <laughs> Guys, I'm struggling. <laughs> ah, I'm making mistakes over here. And these serve no purpose. Now they're blocking the rides. So screw it. I'm going to delete those. Uh, huh. Let's actually delete this. And perhaps fit something else in here. Like this, like the spiral slide. Or not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do we do? Or perhaps... I could uh, put the exit inside that tile. So let's redo what we had going on before. Put that one there. Go this way and delete. There we go. So now this this tile is open to put the entrance out. Ooh, we have a vertical drop coaster, nice. So now what I can do is this, which is kind of wasteful because, well actually not gonna have the path come out to here. Now you can see the exit just barely- No! <laughs> Why does it do this? You can see the exit right there. I keep trying to zoom in on it and it's not letting me. What the heck? This is a bit long, so maybe I'll have a... That. Okay. So that works. And now to justify this weird space, let's put this here. Put the entrance there, exit there, and now we have a dead tile that I wasted. But, you know, you can't win everything. Okay. Now we're elevating our soft guest cap. So we're filling in the outside, and then we can fill in the inside if we need to. But... Uh-oh. October 26th. We have, we need more rides if we want to uh, get people, get 50 more people into the park so we can beat the objective by the end of year one. So let me uh, think about what, how we can do that. Let's build more of these. And tuck them right here. So now this is like a pointless spot, like a dead end, but it's fine. It's fine. Typically I try to avoid dead ends because it makes the guests get lost, but just one or two is fine. There we go, that's connected up just nicely. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this exit is connecting to the path. Let me, let me see if I can hide everything. Hide base land and hide vertical faces. Okay, yeah, it's connected. Look at this. Isn't that janky? Okay, bring everything back. Have these ended yet? Yeah, they ended, okay. Campaign for the park. The park with the best gentle rides, nice. Let's do Geyser Rock again. Okay, it's March 1st and we didn't get a thousand. Darn it. Oh well, or not a thousand, 90. But we got close. We missed it by 50. We just need more rides to elevate our soft guest cap to that point. Speaking of which, I want to place this here. There we go. Let's test that. Build our exit right there. Entrance right here. Nice. Set this to $3, because now we have two of them. Speaking of which, I have to find the other one, which is actually right there. Let's turn this down to $3 so people will actually pay for it. I might be able to get away with four dollars, but I don't want to. I don't want to push it right now. Put a spiral slide right there. Bing bang, boom. Max number of people on the ride. And let's let's try turning our loan down a little bit. There we go. Nice. 
Good to see the roller coasters are still performing well. This is at full capacity, my goodness. Oh wait, no, there's a few empty spots in the back. But this one is full. What else can we build up here? This is pretty compact. The wild mouse is pretty compact. Let's build a wild mouse. If I can find a spot for it. Let's see. If we build this here, we can maybe tie it up, tangle it up with the uh, log flume. Okay, so let's go lift hill here. Turn around. More lift hill. Ultraviolet is in the way. I was afraid of that. Okay. Let's go around it. And it's in the way again. Still in the way. Okay, let's turn then. Okay, 120 to 110. That might not actually work, so let's make sure this is testing in the background just to see this this actually goes through its track layout. And there's a roller coaster there. Shoot. This might end up just being really, really tiny. Uh-oh. Geyser Rock is in the way. And it's still in the way. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's instead go this way. And the station was at 90 feet, so we should level out at 90 and come back. If I can come back. Oh, look at that. So we went over Geyser, over the corkscrew, I mean. Not Geyser Rock. Geyser Rock is in the way. I was afraid of that. And return to the station. Perfect. Okay. Let's put our exit there. I may have missed a stat penalty because there's no big drops on this, but we can try our best here. If anything, it'll just draw people to the park. It doesn't have to have major stats. Well, no, it kind of does because this is a pay-per-ride park, so the, 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 the stats have to justify the prices. Right. Well, hopefully this works. I'm not sure if there's a minimum drop requirement on this. Let's see what it does. Look how slow it is. <laughs> Those jarring corners, too. Let's turn this down like it should be. Okay. Oh! Wow! Not bad! I was afraid I messed up, but no, we can get a really nice, <laughs> not that, no, 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 come back. We can get a really nice price for this of $15 per admission. So let's do that. And we built it without taking out any more of our loan. Speaking of which, turn down our loan and that just expired. Uh, actually take that back, restart that. Or maybe I should stop do, uh, clicking it over and over again and just set it to 12 weeks and forget about it. But I need more cash for that, so let's find it. Uh, the wild mouse. Spinning wild mouse one. Advertise that because it's our new one. Let's do free rides on one of the spiral slides. Vouchers for free food. Let's do free ice cream. The park is free already, so I'm not going to bother with those. It appears this has reached uh, the end of its $12 life, so we have to set it to not 100 $10? Will anyone pay $10 for this? Come on, peeps. You know you want it. Yeah, see, the average is gradually decreasing because it keeps recalculating with the current income of zero and averaging that against what it has been doing. Okay, now someone's going in. Okay, so that's fixed. And everyone's broke. That could be a problem. Oh, look, we met our objective. Nice. Okay, well... We met our objective in the first 13 months, not the first 12 months, but big deal. Well, not 13 months. This is these don't these aren't full calendar years. I keep forgetting that. What are we researching? Oh, we have fries! Yummy! Let's build some fries. Right there. Woohoo! 
Set this to two dollars. Same price throughout park in case we build another one. And we need drinks up here as well, because the only drink stall is down there. So let's actually put this by our ice cream stall. Boom. Okay. Now let's spam some more flat rides down below, such as another merry-go-round. And for this, have the path pop out. Little tiny queue line. And that space... No! Turn that off. That space leaves us with room for another spiral slide. Woo! With the entrance and exit facing the wall. <laughs> ah, this is so janky. You can't see. You can't see the path, but you know it's there. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I love this music. It's so pretty. Anyway, let's turn our loan down some more. And are these still running? Yeah, they're still running. Okay. Let's save up our cash and maybe even take out a loan so I can max out the advertising so I can just let it run with, and forget about it. So I think forgetting about it is what's costing us. And isn't this such a pretty layout? I think there's two, two basic uh, design uh, theories for roller coasters. There's a there and back type design. And then there's the kind that kind of twists in on itself. I don't know what you'd call that. This one, the, the, the corkscrew is kind of a there and back type roller coaster, but it just returns to itself. I, I don't even know. But the wooden roller coaster is the kind that twists in on itself, definitely, and goes through its own supports. So it's really, wooden roller coasters lend themselves well to both types, but especially the kind where it goes, twists in on itself, because then it goes through its own support structure and you get like head choppers like this, and it's just really pretty. That's what I like. There we go. Turn that loan down, and let's spam some more of the... Ooh! We have a car ride. Let's, uh, turn... Let's hide vertical faces. There we go. And, uh... Okay, we need height marks on paths. And height mark... Well, actually, no, that's negative 30, so we don't need this. We just have to memorize that that's negative 30. Ride tracks. There we go. That's actually right next to the path. So let's go two tiles over. There we go. Two tiles. And this, just like the log flume, the number of cars is determined by the length of the ride itself. Unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, where it all depends on the length of the station. But no. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, and I or in Open RCT 2, and I suspect in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, it's not how it works. And this doesn't have to be pretty, because it's underground, so I can make it as ugly as I want. Fight me. Merry-go-round still hasn't been what now? Still hasn't been fixed. Well, I do have a big park. The He'll get to it eventually. Let's go up one tile. Maybe we should have done that sooner. There we go, 20, uh, 15. Oh, no, no, no. We should have gone down a tile, actually. Let's go down a tile right here, so we can duck under that. There we go. I'll come around like so. Uh-oh. That doesn't work. Okay, let's go straight. Or run parallel, actually. And now return to the station. This is plenty long. I think we have avoided any stat penalties for length. Our campaigns are all finishing. That's good. I don't know if this is lined up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, entrance, exit. That's not going to work. Okay, put the entrance on the other side. That's also not going to work. Darn it. I should have designed this differently. Let's break those. Make this one tile longer. There we go. And now we can do that. And now I can fit the exit. Perfect! Uh, come back here. Perfect! Now I just gotta come back. Gotta do that for the exit. Let, let me connect. There we go. Now where to go? Ah, for goodness sake. Let's just let her rip. 
Let her rip. And I can't see what it's doing, so I'm just going to guess that that's good and test it. <laughs> there she blows. Now let's take some loan out, back up to 10,000. Advertise the park for the maximum duration of 12 weeks. And advertise the corkscrew for the maximum of 12 weeks. Where is it? Corkscrew. What do we name it? Ultraviolet. There we go. Now I can let it run without thinking about it. Because if I forget and don't restart it, that's a lost opportunity. Let's do free, free fries, free fry Friday. And free rides on, let's see, the haunted house. Why not? The third one. Sir Haunted House the Third. And I don't have enough money. Boom. There we go. Now I have $10. <laughs> Ten dollars to my name. Now I don't want to wait for this car ride to do its thing, so let's uh, get our test results back. It looks like three seconds might have been a bit long, or a bit short, I mean. So let's try four seconds. But now we should have our stats. Oh, look at that! Nice! Let's open this, leave this at uh, maybe $2. Will people pay $2? There we go, people are getting in. Now the problem with this is I can't see it, so if people stop writing it, I won't even know about it. Although it contributes to the soft guest cap, so I guess the money they would have spent on this they'll spend elsewhere, so it's not the end of the world. It's just less money than we could have made. A lost opportunity. Oh, this is so messy. Maybe what I should do is have tiered, tiered underground sections. So there can be flat rides built on top of each other that link back to the, the pathway inside the cliff. That would be so weird. Anyway, let's build more of these. Ferris wheel here. Build our path right there. Perfect. Open that, leave it at the default. And then add another Ferris wheel here. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Well, Oh, they're the same color. That's weird. Is this going to turn the same direction? No, it's opposite. No! Let's turn it around. So it looks like the, uh, the gears, the cogs of a clock turning together. And who needs, who needs Q lines anyway? Let's actually cycle our default prices. Come back. Uh, Ferris wheel. Oh, it doesn't cycle like it does with roller coasters. Oh, wait, no, it does. I take that back. Okay, that works. Let's open that. Perfect. Oh, wait, no, but now it matches this one. Eh. Okay, close again. Let's go with the other one. Perfect. Open for business. Now we have 1,200 guests. Almost 1,300. Not bad. Let's see. What else can we add to this place? We are quickly earning our money back. Look at that. Our income has gradually gone up. Now we're at like 11,000 per month. Not bad. And now we're at 4,000, 4,500, and we're only a third of the way through May. So this upward trend looks like it's going to keep going for now. But I don't have enough money to build any more roller coasters. Darn it, I want more roller coasters. But whining won't fix anything. So let's just, uh, let's just be patient and save our money. I really can't take much of a loan out. And I don't have much room for rides anymore on top, because I took it all up with these roller coasters. I could build underground roller coasters. They're just not going to be visible. I wonder what kind of flat ride I can put here. What are we working on? Souvenir stall, cool. Oh, we have the wooden wild mouse, nice. I wonder what kind of trains we have access to. We close this. Only mouse cars, okay. If we had the mine cars, that'd be cool. They could pop in and out from the cliff wall. Let's actually do that, that sounds like fun. Let's build one of these underground. Let's uh, hide vertical faces so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, come back. And uh, height marks on ride tracks, so I can get an idea of where this is going. There we go. 30 feet is the depth we want. And this roller coaster, the number of cars is determined by the length of the track. So we want a decently long track, so I can get lots of uh, lots of uh, people onto it. Steep drop, pop up. Steep drop, gradually slope to level. Let's see, uh, and there we go, just like that, and then we pop out. Cool! Isn't that a thing of beauty? 
Uh oh, let's go around like this. So I guess the space won't have any flat rides, but that's okay, because this is cool. Speaking of which, we should probably have this testing in the background just to make sure it works so we don't stall anywhere. Have any tragic crashes, that would be bad. That would be bad. And I think it's long enough, we can just return to the station. Uh, but wait, I don't have any brakes. I take that back. We gotta wind down our speed a little bit. So we don't give anyone uh, break anyone's neck or something. Oh wait, no, we're okay. I think we're okay. Let's just do this. Come down, level to 30 feet, and there we go. Perfect. Hey! Don't close it. Hide vertical faces. Perfect. Okay. Let's build our key line. Nice and long. Perfect. And connect to the... There it goes. I think no matter what I do, I'm going to get this funny four-way. So let's delete this one and just have this pop out of the pop out of the cliff. So you can see it there. Let's uh, turn this wait time down to three seconds. Turn the lift hill speed up to five and test this bad boy. And I want to see it. So let's go to car one and follow this on main view. Woohoo! Let's -a go! There she goes. Then it pops out, goes back in, pops out again, and goes in again. Nice. Ah, oh, that was a bit rough. That was two and a half Gs, my goodness. Uh, let's see what the stats are. Nice! Not bad! I think those are the best stats we've had yet. Sweet. Well, let's open it and charge a handsome $16 per admission. That'll elevate our soft gas cap and uh, let, 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 let go of my camera. There we go. And now everything's invisible. I think we could also build a vertical drop coaster down there. So let's find a place to do that. Maybe here. Or maybe we start it outside, because I don't want to I don't want to spam too many flat rides. So yeah, let's start it right here. Or, I don't know. The entrance has to go somewhere, and if I do it like this, there's no room for the entrance. Although, if I do it here, the exit could go here and connect to the path, and the entrance will come out here so there's enough room to maneuver and find its way back to the, uh, to the, to the, the path. What am I saying? Station, and stoop! Isn't that a thing of beauty? Hoo-hoo, <laughs> that pops out. Wait, can I keep doing that? Aw, oh, man. That's not gonna work. Yeah, but that's... Isn't that janky? It, like, pops out and twists and goes back in. That's so cool. And that's too low. Okay, so let's level out to negative 15. And I don't think we have room for these giant loops, do we? We had... Yeah, we would have had to go taller if we wanted to do that. But I say let's do it! Let's make this taller. So let's, uh... Let's level out this funky cliff. Bring this down. Whoops. I take that back, bring that up. Oh, I ruined my, ah, oh, I ruined my landscape. Turn this off. Okay, that, that should be sufficient. Now twist, and down it goes. Level out to negative 15, and now we fit our big loops. From 100 to 65, we should have plenty of momentum for that. And I forgot to see how many cars I get. That's one, two, three, four, not cars, trains. How many trains do I get? Okay, that's a lot. Do I still get that many if I do this? I do, look at that, perfect. Perfectionism. Okay. Let's uh, keep building this thing. 
turn this back on. There was one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, I think I lost one. No! <laughs> I think I lost one. Uh, we'll, we'll play with that later. Let's make this pop out of the back over here. That's a path. Okay. Oh, yeah, because the path is at negative 30. Right. Okay. Let's put a photo section right there. And uh, come down. Isn't that fun? And I think we should be slowed down enough that this won't be quite totally lethal. No, I'm totally wrong. That's gonna hurt someone. <laughs> That's not gonna work. You look how fast it's going through the big loops. Woo! Real fast through there. Ah, that's actually not bad. But just to be safe, let's make this a little bit taller. One more tile. Never mind, that's too tall. Okay. Put the loop there. And what am I hitting? Oh, it's because... I see. It's not going to let me do that because of the topography is all weird. And that's a wild mouse. Okay, let's uh, turn this down, twist it around, and come on down. Not quite like that, though. I wonder if we if we shift the path over. Oh, for goodness sake! Hide vertical faces, and here we go. Place those and delete these ones. And now those people just disappear from the park. I forgot about that. Darn it! <laughs> it doesn't count them as dying, like with drowning. It actually counts it more like a. Uh, it's like they, uh, I can't see. It counts it as if they just left the park, like walked out. Let's bring our vertical faces back so I can see what I'm doing. Did I already place this photo section? Yeah, I already, I already did. Okay. Oh, right. There's a footpath there. Okay. So let's edit that one as well. Okay, over one more, and try to delete these when there's not people standing on them. There we go, that guy almost fell. He almost fell into the abyss. And now the roller coaster's in the way, darn it! I just can't win, can I? Uh, let's move the path again, over here, wrong button. Now turn around Mr. Orange Shirt, there we go. This might be the perfect place to come home, actually. So let's uh, put brakes right here to 13, and I don't know if that's going to be enough to catch it, but these are short trains, so I think it'll be okay. Okay, let's uh, see how this performs. I'm excited about this. Fire it up. Let's grab train one and follow this on main view. What's up with this color scheme, though? Black trains on a black track. You know what? It's actually growing on me. With the orange restraints, it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> and now people just broke their necks on the... the what the heck? It clipped right through the dirt. Let's watch our vertical G's. Make sure that this small loop isn't too intense. Woo! Oh, we went up to five. Or no, up to four. What am I saying? Oh my goodness, look at this! That was jo Oh, problem! big problem. That last tile is a problem. Okay. Uh, well, maybe... How many trains do I get? Okay, that's four trains. If I delete this piece, do I still get four trains? Please? Yes! I still get four trains. Look at that. With that, that means that I can, I can uh, curve this. 
So if I place this, curve that, now it's a crashing hazard. So I need to find a uh, flat spot somewhere to see, uh, see through the ground. Or we'll just take our chances. I think we're just going to take our chances because <laughs> there's nowhere to put it. I don't believe in safety. What is safety even for anyway? Okay. Perhaps I can put this. Uh, give, give me, give me that. No, give me. Uh, work with me. Okay. Put this here. Okay. Yeah, look how hot that comes in. My goodness. This comes flying into the station. That's totally going to cause a crash if these if this has a breakdown and there's a backup right here. <laughs> okay then. Well, let's charge 16 for this because it's got incredible stats to justify it. My goodness, look at that intensity rating. Let's go. Okay. So we're halfway through year two. Um... It looks like the price is fair. People are getting on. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> That's a head chopper if I ever saw one. The definition of a head chopper. And no one is riding the course group. That means it's too expensive. Let's drop this to 13 maybe? That might be a bit low. Oh no, people are going on. That's good. What else? What else needs to be adjusted? This is fair. This one still has people on it. Okay, we seem to have a pretty steady income of about thirteen to 14000 at least for the past few months. We're a third of the way through July, and we only have 3000 though. Well, close to 4000 Well, I guess, yeah. This would, I guess, go up to about 11000 Yeah, we, it's gone down. Did these ad campaigns finish? Oh, I'm, I'm already clicked on it. <laughs> no, these are still running. Oh, I know why. It's because some of our rides didn't have riders on them. Uh, but anyway, that should be fixed now. I think we could have our handyman cover more ground if there was a two-way path up here, not just a one-way. So let's extend this down the backside, right here. Drop this. Raise this. And go all the way down to connect with the path. Or not. Maybe something like this. And now it's connected, look at that. Yeah, so that connects it. So that'll hopefully uh, help our handyman cover more ground. Ooh, balloons. Let's build the balloons before I forget. Balloon stall right here. Shift, bring it down, and it should automatically link to the path, I think. Oh, it's linking to the exit. Don't link to that. Turn around. There we go. And you can see the... No! Come back! Ugh! You can see the path does a little connection thing. Let's set this to $1.50, since I've been losing money all these months, not charging as much as I could have been charging. So that's blue balloons. I wonder if they let go of balloons, do they disappear, or do they phase through the ground and pop out? That would be super weird to see balloons just materialize out of the ground. I want to see that. I want to see if it does that. That would be cool. Let's place red balloons up here. There we go. Red. And what else? Uh, yellow. And there goes the Ferris wheel. Let's make these yellow. Okay, so that's all the primary colors. Let's get the secondary colors as well. Starting with green, that's the most popular of the secondary colors, by far. It's basically a primary color, even though it technically isn't. That's how popular it is. And then orange, which is not popular. Whoops. And purple! Place it right there. Facing the cliff. And you can kind of see, yeah, you see people walking past through the, through the front there. That's cool. Oh, look at that, some photo sales. 
the advertising campaign has finished. Oh yeah, look at that. So for July, it looks like we're actually climbing up just fine now that I fixed those prices. Let's advertise for 12 weeks. Advertise the vertical drop coaster for 12 weeks. And everything else. Uh, free food, let's go with free drinks for 12 weeks and free, no, not those, okay. And with that, we can turn our loan down to zero. Nice. So now all the money we're earning is surplus. It's all profit. Well, not all profit. There's operating expenses and such, but it's all, you know what I mean. We're on the right track. Now, what have we unlocked recently other than the balloon stall that I haven't been paying attention to? It's the balloon stall. Yay, bumper cars. Sweet. Let's build the bumper cars right here on this cliff edge. <laughs> that, that's, that's totally safe. I was going to turn the music off, but that uh, synth is actually the same note as the uh, the gentle style music. Hear that? So what? They, they mix together beautifully. Look at that. That's cool. I'm going to leave it on for that reason. Okay. And this price, I think we can charge $3 for bumper cars. Yep, look at that. $3. Beautiful. And my goodness, look how much money this is generating. 27000 What about this one? 15000 since I turned the prices down. This one, ah, oh man. 12000 that's not a lot. <laughs> what about the new one? Where's the vertical drop coaster? This one is generating 30000 Not bad. And it, is, it doesn't even have enough people to ride it. The capacity is really high. That's good. A good problem to have. And look how hot. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be lethal. It just comes flying in there and just comes to an abrupt stop. Holy smoke. I wonder if we can tuck some little scenery back there. Yeah, look at that. Good grief. Just a random tree. <laughs> no one will notice. Oh, I forgot. We need pink balloons. To finish out our balloon array. Let's go to the opposite end of the park. Maybe by the entrance. All these wasted tiles. Place it right there make these pink. Perfect. Now I really want to see balloons phasing through the ground. That would be so funny. Oh, and we have the souvenir stall. I missed it. Let's put it on the opposite side of the, of the plateau thing because we already have an info kiosk over there selling umbrellas. So we can put this one here because it also sells umbrellas. Let's make these green because we already have two colors. And cuddly toys. I'm pretty sure I can charge 450 for these, but I don't remember. Will people pay 450? Well, no. Ah, why does it do this? Will people pay 450? Anybody? Thoughts? I'm not paying that much for a cuddly toy. He says. Okay, how about four dollars? Okay, people are turning away. It's still the same person, so I don't know if I fixed it. Okay, that was for an umbrella, not the toy. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Let's just... <laughs> I don't know. Turn it down to 350 There we go. That seems to be a good price. Okay. So, what are we researching? Dingy slide? No! That's not a good ride. Why do we have to learn that one? Oh, well. Do we have room for any of these down below? Here's what I mean, is if I try to, like, hold down shift... Okay, it doesn't even let me build it up here. Yeah, it won't build the corner into the into the wall there. What else can I cram down here? So we moved all the paths here. As we can see, the path is not quite there. Although I might be able to fit the... Oh, yeah, look at that! Never mind, that's not going to work. Uh, delete that and maybe put it here. Or no. Where can I put this? Yeah, it's too big. Okay. Maybe I'll put it here then. Put the entrance there, put the exit there. And now put the entrance here. But now I've, now I've ruined this whole spot. So I can fix that by doing... Not that, that doesn't fix it. Uh, maybe, maybe we can, whoops. 
I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't realize I accidentally placed it. Grab one of these. And plop it down. Oh, but there's so much wasted space, though. Okay, change plans. Let's not do that. Um, yeah, I'm stumped. This is a bad idea. Let's just close this. Delete this. And delete that path. Let's find something else to place here. Maybe if we do this... And build this along until it allows us to connect. Oh, it looks like we could have done it sooner. Nope, no we can't. Okay, so that's where we can connect from. Place the entrance here. No, 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 not like that. Okay. Now I have a place to connect other things to. So let's open this. And now we can place our Ferris wheels right there. Maybe. Kind of. Yeah, something like that. And now with the remaining space, we can tuck a little spiral slide in. Or two. Can I fit two here? No, I can't. Okay. Let's move it over. I mean, I guess we already won, so it doesn't have to be super compact. I guess I could just place flowers or something in the leftover spaces. Or just ignore them. It's not a big deal. But look at all the money we're making. Let's go. Looks like July was our highest earning month to date so far compared to all the other months. Or at least a higher gross, higher gross ride tickets. But not from shop sales. Yeah, not by a lot. August has made a lot more in shop sales. And all these months where it rained. Anyway, let's build more stuff. We have the money for another roller coaster, but we'd have to build it underground if we do. Hmm. Uh, the chairlift? I don't like the chairlift. Maybe we could build a chairlift. Where's the entrance? There it is. Yeah, I blocked this area off completely. Oh no, we have a broken trash can. That's not good. Why do we have a broken trash can? Do we have vandals in the park? Oh, everything is broken. What the heck? Handyman, you are not doing your job. Looks like I need to hire more of them. We have the money for it. Uh, let's see. I'm out of cash. I want to go home. Too crowded here. Hungry. Clean and tidy. That's a lot of people who want to go in something more thrilling than Spiral Slide 3. Specifically 3. <laughs> That's funny. I think the path being too crowded, we should add more paths. So let's uh, uh, make a cross here. Have to go all the way across to the other side. Like this. Is that doing a four-way thing? Oh man, I don't want to do that. Okay. Let's do that. And place a little info kiosk right there. I didn't want it to close. No, stop it! Hide base land? No, not that. Hide vertical faces. I have to guess which tile this is. Okay. Wrong one, it's this one. There we go. We'll make these yellow umbrellas. So that's all the primary colors for umbrellas plus green. Perfect. And selling lots of maps by the look of it. So that'll hopefully decongest the paths a little bit. Um, I don't see any other vandalism over here. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it for vandalism. It must all be down to the lower levels. Although it just occurred to me, I don't have any benches or trash cans in the low, uh, the underground area, so let's just do that real quick. That'll help with the nausea, and the nausea is the primary contributor to vandals. I don't think trash actually contributes anything to vandals. I think it's just nausea that does it. Trash does affect the park rating, though, and we don't want to lose our park rating, so let's definitely fix that, too. Do 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 Place all those. Benches there. Lots of benches. Yeah, I don't think I access accessorized any of this yet, since I built the underground roundabout thing. So that might be part of the reason for the vandals. There's no benches to mitigate the vomit 
causing vandals. Where else? Here we go. Now this is such a messy park. It cracks me up. I have a question for y'all. So, I've noticed that when I produce these videos, these Roller Coaster Tycoon videos tend to do very well. And then when I branch into other games, they don't do so well, typically. Um, but I am running out of scenarios in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 to play. I mean, I have a lot of, I have a lot of scenarios in the expansions, but I don't really expect those to do as well. So I have to think about the longevity of this channel and the direction it's going. And I have a, I have this fear that if I start producing videos of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 or Park Attack or things like that, that they'll flop and not do so well. Because my success seems to come from Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2. So do you want me to do you want to see those videos? Let me know in the comments. Would you like to see videos of those games? I plan to definitely produce them. I just don't know if it'll be successful for the channel overall. Uh, anyway. Stand-up roller coaster. What am I supposed to do with that? I guess I could build one. That's kind of fun. Uh, later. I'm still figuring this out, Delver. This ac accessorization out thing. But yeah, let me know what you think the best thing is. I would like to produce videos of all of those games at some point, just over the lifetime of this channel. I actually, if I come to think of it, there's enough there's enough scenarios between all the expansions. There's like more than 50, maybe even more than 100. So if I do one Roller Coaster Tycoon video per week, then I should be set for at least a few years. But I know that some of you guys are waiting for me to start producing game, uh, videos from Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and Park Attack and stuff like that. So I may start adding those as well. So if I do like two videos a week, I could do a Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 video, and then the, uh, then the other video maybe would bounce back and forth between various games. Like, I've been producing Civilization 3 uh, videos, but those never do well. <laughs> I mean, they're easy to produce, they just don't do well. I think I have maybe one or two people who really like them, though, so... I was thinking about discontinuing that series, just so I don't spam your notification box with uploads. Azungu has uploaded, and you open it and it's something you're not interested in. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll do some more polls like I've been doing. But yeah, the longevity of this channel is something on my mind. I'm trying to think about what would, be, what would be best, what would be entertaining to you guys. Got a nice little flowers there. Let's add some more flowers. So let me know. Boom. Flowers. Love flowers. Let's have some more flowers. Okay. That's pretty. Can I put flowers under this? I cannot. What about half flowers? Nope, didn't think so. I can fit flowers under these though. So let's just plant a bunch of flowers here. Look at that. And the supports go through it. That's so cool. So we'll call it the, uh, the, the, the flower loop, the loopy flower, or I don't know. That's a dumb name. I don't know what to call it. Let's have the bigger flower boxes here. And I'm not going to bother with the fences because you can't see from the front with this cliff in the way. We should probably have some trees too. So let me change the ground type to something more appropriate for a tree. Like that. There we go. Now let's place these trees. Let's put a... A, uh, what do you call this again? A birch tree? And maybe an oak tree. The Minecraft trees! Now, can I plant flowers around these? I cannot. What a shame. Okay. Let's have a planter box between those. Isn't that cute? Should I change the topography with all this all this money I got? I'm so rich. Now I think I should build another roller coaster. Let's do that instead. Let's build a roller coaster, hide vertical faces so I can see what I'm doing. Let's put the station alongside this path this time. Build custom design. Okay. Where does this go? I need to see what I'm doing, actually. Actually, no. I just have to go all the way down to the bottom, because the lowest I can go is negative 30. So yeah, I just drag until it doesn't go anymore. It, it, and not click this. <laughs> you saw that my mouse went all the way down to accidentally click this. That's funny. 
Okay, one train, two trains. Red train, blue train. I'm just kidding, that's a Dr. Seuss thing. Um. What's in the way? Oh dear. Oh dear. Problem. I think I have to turn this around. Oh, where'd my station? Ah, oh, darn it. Come back, station. Uh, wrong roller coaster. Let's grab the stand up roller coaster. The stand up comedian roller coaster. There we go. This is facing the direction I want. Let's hide vertical faces again. There we go. I remember as a kid being really frustrated because I'd accidentally click this and not know how to make the ground come back. Because I didn't know what I was doing. And that's a Ferris wheel. Gosh darn it. Okay, let's turn it. Turn. Throughput does matter in this scenario because I am uh, charging per ride instead of at the gate. So that means that the uh, the amount I charge per... Uh, no, not the amount I charge. It means that the throughput of the ride is very important because it affects how much money it can earn. And I guess this doesn't have to be pretty because we're not going to see it. That's annoying. You get to watch me build all these rides, but no one's going to actually see them. Because <laughs> it's all going to be underground. That's funny. Uh-oh. That's not going to work. Woohoo! What's in the way? That's the loop is in the way. Okay. So the loop is in the way. Now the lift hill's in the way. So let's go under the lift hill. Flatten out. And maybe this doesn't have to be very big, so let's come back to the station. Although I forgot the photo section, so let's put the photo section on. Okay. Do I have room to do this, actually? So let's flatten out first. Blah. A flat space is a spacer. Now, of course, you left. Of course, you right. Oh, I do. Look at that. Now I just have to worry about if it's going through there too fast, and if it is, if that'll cause any problems. Although I do have an extra space, so if it is too fast, I can just insert a brake over there, I suppose. But we'll figure that out later. Let's test it. No, no, come back. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> Follow this in main view. Hide vertical faces so I can see. There we go. Let's hide the baseland too. Okay, we're testing a roller coaster in the abyss of darkness. Ooh, cotton candy. While I'm thinking about it, let's build that. No, no, uh, does not imagine. Never mind, I'll do that later. And I forgot to change the lift hill speed. So, start over. Follow this on main view. Hide vertical faces and base land. Okay. Let's skip the lift hill. No one wants to see that. And watch these G's. That was pretty good. So now I'm just worried about the corkscrews. Let's see if it's too fast for them. Oh, that was a bit rough. But I think we're okay. Let's see what the stats says. The stats says. What am I saying? But what? Blah. Not good. Whatever it is, it's not good. So as I suspected, we need to... Well, first of all, close this. We need to insert a break before the corkscrew section and set it to, I don't know, 31. I'm not sure what the optimal speed is for this. Photo section. All right, now let's test it. Follow this. And let's uh, get the results fast because I don't want to wait for it. I'm impatient. Okay, yeah, the brakes slowed it down to so, so it's at a speed that it just barely goes through those corkscrews. Now let's see it. Much better. That is a bit high for the intensity, my goodness. But it's acceptable. Not too much. So let's set it to not 25, 15. And uh, release... No, release my camera. All right. Beautiful. Okay, and with that we can open this, add it to our repertoire of massive roller well it's not massive, add it to our repertoire of roller coasters. Very good. Now what should we do next? Look, look at how much money we're making, my goodness. Did these expire? 
They have one week left each. We do have the cotton candy, though, which I forgot. So let's build that before I forget again. Boom. Buck 20. And what are we researching? Another roller coaster, huh? On the 11th of March. So next year. Mega Round 2 still hasn't been fixed. Where is that? Here it is. Where is this guy? What is he doing? Oh, it's clear over there. Yeah, I think these guys are overworked. I need to hire buddies for them. More handyman coming... Or, er, not handyman. Mechanics. Yeah, I only have three for the whole park. What's wrong with me? I forgot. I have so many rides. That won't do. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Let, let me go. Let me go. Okay. And just like that, the ad campaigns have finished. So let's restart those. 12 weeks. Let's advertise our new roller coaster. The comedian roller coaster. Because you know stand up. Haha. <laughs> I make the joke every episode as if it's a new thing. Uh, vouchers for free food. Let's do free cotton candy. 12 weeks. And uh, where is it? Free rides on, because I'm generous, the vertical drop coaster for 12 weeks. Speaking of which, let's, uh, oh no, we're lagging. Why are we lagging? There we go. Let's, uh, let's take an inventory of our rides. The first wheel one has nobody on it. Why is that? Too expensive. What? That's the default price. Okay, 50 cents. Yeah, I think they're all too expensive at their base price. Let's turn let's turn them all down. Turn them all down. I wish there was like a global price for them. Since they're all the same ride type. Haunted house is too expensive, it appears. Or there's just no one on it at the moment. Merry go around one. Let's turn that down just to be safe. It might just be reloading. I don't know. I don't even know. Sheer cliffs. Too expensive, probably. Ten dollars. That should fix that problem. Spiral slides are all too expensive by the look of it. Oh, no, there's so many of them. No. Okay, ten dollars. There we go. I fixed it. Someone's on it. One dollar a pop. Spiral slide three, one dollar. Slide four, same deal. Go back. No! Ah, uh, close that. And five, not, not six, five. Set that to a dollar. This one to a dollar. Number seven. And number eight just broke down. Fabulous. Twist one. Nobody's on it. Probably because it's too expensive. Okay. And I think that should be good. Yeah. And look at this. We have just shy... Uh, ju we have just shy of 1,600. So with 200 more, we will have doubled the objective. It's year three, so we have plenty of time to do that, I think. And this bear patch is begging for a tree. So let's answer its plea and plant a tree. That rhymes. Let's change the ground type as well. Maybe put a little fence around it just to make it pretty. Like this. Isn't that cute? Not that you can really see it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna forget it's there. What else can we do? I've kind of neglected the space up here. We could uh, we could change this and plant stuff on it. Well, maybe not. We can plant. Let's plant shrubs. Because shrubs would grow on a rock like this. Maybe not trees. Well, maybe a few trees. I don't know. Well, plant a few shrubs. And bushes. Just like this. It appears that this has nobody riding it. Let's drop it to $8. There we go. Now people are getting on. Whoops. Reverse trains for the looping roller coaster. What? Uh, that sounds like fun. We could, uh... Up the stats and revamp our looper. And then use the open RCT2 button. Here's the funny thing, is I can select, so there's a drop down here, I'll be able to select the reversed ones. And then I just click this reverse button right here and it'll make them forward again. But then I get the stats as if they're reversed. <laughs> if you don't like the way it looks, you know? It looks like we already researched it. I got these two mixed up. We, this is unknown, so I don't even know what it's gonna be. A transport ride, okay. Not sure what we do with that. 
More shrubs. I wonder what the transport ride is, though. Can I fast forward it? We get it on the 9th of April, so that's next month. It is... what is it? Come on. Come on! It is a monorail! Cool! That This might actually be the perfect park for that. We could just have it... well, maybe not with these rides here. We could have it go over everything and then have the path system set up inside the rock. You know, this kind of reminds me of a of a real life rock called Beacon Rock, and uh, I can't remember if it's on the Oregon or the Washington side of the Columbia River, or maybe it's not the Columbia River. I can't remember which river it's on. It's a uh, it's basically an ancient volcano stem, like the uh, if you look at a diagram of a volcano, uh, a uh, well, there's different kinds of volcanoes. If you look at the diagram of a strato volcano specifically, and you'll see the stem of lava coming up to the surface. That is what Beacon Rock is, is the remnant of that, of an ancient volcano that got eroded away. And now it's a, it's a tourist uh, place. It's like a hike. So it's a lot of fun. And this is a bad idea. What am I doing? Let me uh, break this and move it here. Much better. Oh, the, oh, the freaking path. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Let's move it over again. Entrance there, exit there, and put the queue line here. There we go. Spiral slide number nine, and 150 apparently is too expensive because we have so many. So we'll drop that default. Oops. Oh, hello, Graham. Not looking so good, are you? <laughs> well, I was trying to click this. Turn this up to five. Much better. All right. Now, let's see. These ad campaigns are still running for a while. We have lots of cash. So let's look at the roller coasters we have access to. Did I? Let me double check what I did. Okay, so that the the standard roller coaster is finished. We have what have we not built a large version of? We have a large corkscrew. We have a large Woody. We made a small looper, so maybe we can make a smaller looper, I guess. Hey, let me. No, oh, I can't deal with this. Monorail, yay! I wonder. Le hmm. Problem is, I turn it off, and then because this uh this thing appears, the uh, ghost track piece thing on the land, it makes everything reappear. Okay, let's maybe put this over here. Oh wait, no, that's where the stand up is. Let's go to the other side of everything. Over here. Too close. Move it a little back, a little further back. Turn it around. There we go. That's one train. Okay, that's uh, still one train. Still one train. Two trains. Now, is this going to hit that? I was afraid of that. But we can just do something like that and have this, I don't know, connect up somehow. Am I going to hit the path? Yeah, the path is there, but it's not a problem. Okay, so let's come out the side like this. Lift hill. Actually, maybe not lift hill. Let's boost it. Now let's lift hill. Lift hill takes up less space. It's just slower. It's slower, but more space efficient. And that's what we want. All right, let's go down. Turn. Right down to 30 feet. Perfect. And there's a roller coaster in the way. Uh, let's put a photo section here and see if we can squeeze through here. Never mind, there's a ride there too. What if I do this? No! Okay, fine. I'll have to turn the other way. Let's go straight. Let's go straight this way. And what am I hitting? Oh, I can't see a thing. Where am I? Oh, the wooden wild mouse is there. Maybe I do this? No, 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 straight, straight, straight. Flatten out. And that's where the wooden wild mouse is, so maybe we don't do that. Start steep, and do that. 
I don't know. What was it, 75? And this? Oh, I can't see through everything. Where is it? <laughs> I can't see. Uh, hide base land. There we go. That's a little bit better. Hide vertical faces. What is this, 50 feet? Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. So from 70 to 50, that's good. Yeah, see, there it is. Okay. So that will be just fine. And unfortunately, we don't have access to banked, sloped turns. I think it does in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but not here in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. So we have to make do with what we got. Let's go back down, and I can't see anything. The car ride is in the way. Okay, let's not go that low. Do I have enough speed to loop here? Loop left. Oh, this is so messy. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't imagine this viewing experience is good, because look at this. Look at this mess. I can't see anything. And I can't turn off specific roller coasters, because if I turn off rides, then I can't see what I'm doing either. But this, uh, this here wooden roller coaster is so in the way. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Uh, flatten, bank. Okay, now I'm in the way of myself. Okay, let's instead go the other way. I'm trying to go through the loop, but I can't even see what I'm doing. This is the loop I'm aiming at. Okay, clearly we went through it. I don't know if this is working, though. Uh, photo section, inside the loop, as always. Oh, look at that! We did it! Even though I couldn't see what I was doing. Perfect! Okay, let's helix this down with... Never mind, there's a car right away. Uh, go around like this. What am I in the way of here? That doesn't work. And that doesn't work. Because... Hmm. Harmph. This isn't gonna work. Okay, let's try... Wide turns. That pokes out of the ground, apparently. I'm trying to connect to this, but... Well, this is at negative 30 and this is at zero. So it looks like it's right, but I missed. Maybe if I go wider? Okay, let me turn vertical faces on. Maybe the maybe what I'm supposed to do is poke out of the ground here. Oh look at that, I did it! Oh that's perfect! That is so perfect! Look at that! Okay, hide vertical faces. And now, let's see if we can rejoin. Well, actually, let's go steep. Okay, steep doesn't work. <laughs> oh, look at that! And with that, we can twist like this. Break that. Twist. Well, curve, not twist. And it looks like we may have a dangerous roller coaster again that may or may not crash if we have a train stuck like this. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll survive. Hopefully. Okay, that connects to the uh, to the entrance, or no, to the path. Let's select this. Bring this over like this. Oh, I could have done this differently. Let's go out one more tile. There we go. So now I can kind of see what we're doing. Were these controls even available in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1? How did people beat this? Well, actually, I guess I and I did double the objective almost, so I guess it's possible. <laughs> um, but this is hard. This is so hard. I have a lot of respect for you guys who played the vanilla version without all these cheats and mods and stuff. Okay, let's test this. Let's test it. Find train one and follow this on main view. And I still can't hardly see it. So let's turn vertical faces off. Hide base land. There we go. Now we can see it. Now it's floating in the void. And depth doesn't mean anything, because things that are higher up are just the same size as things lower down. I wonder if there was some kind of depth perception added to the game, if that would have helped or made it worse. Probably best that it, they didn't do that. Uh, but maybe having things at different elevations not look like they're connected? Like right here, this is an optical illusion. These look like they're for the same path, but they're not. This one's underground, and this one is on top of the, on top of the mountain. Oh, that loop was rough. 
Oh my goodness, that was five G's. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh no! Uh, but it didn't go in the red, and positive G's are not the end of the world. Okay, what's the damage? Oh, okay, we survived! But holy smoke, 5.8! <laughs> that's like... That, oh my goodness, that's, that's a lot. That's way too much. But we survived, so let's open this for $15. Boop! So now we have... Oh wait, no, we can't do that because we already have one. Uh, let's open it for $12! Yes, because we already have a looper. Where is that looper? I need to turn this price down. Here it is. With nobody on it. So let's turn this way down to maybe three dollars, because it's basically a flat ride. Okay, let's turn everything back on. Now there's riders on it, look at that. And look at all the people coming to the park, and look at that, we have doubled the objective. Not too shabby. You know what would be really cheeky? Besides <laughs> all these people who are here, if I just shoot this way up, because they're all going to pay whatever the price is if they can afford it. <laughs> This will just affect guest generation, but the guests that have generated all of this is money. Although I wonder if that's less money that would have generated if the proper number of people generated. So let's turn that off. Let's see. I want to build that monorail. Question is, how do I do it? How tall are these? So we've got the haunted houses and the Ferris wheels are probably the tallest of these flat rides I have out here. But then I also have these roller coasters poking out the side here. Oh, but they don't poke out as tall as this does. Okay, so let's hold shell shift. Never mind, that's not gonna work. That's too tall for supports. Never mind, I guess we're not doing a monorail. That sucks. Unless we do it underground. Now the wheels in my head are turning. Hold on, let's see if we can bring this down. Uh, height marks on ride tracks. So the path is at negative 30. So maybe if we bring this down to negative 20. Except there's a lot of stuff in the way. Okay, negative 10, how about that? I have a feeling this is just a bad idea altogether. No, come back! Oh man. Maybe zero. So it's 30 feet elevated above where these guys are. Yeah, I don't know why the base land is at negative 30. That doesn't make sense to me, but we're gonna roll with it! Let's see, how many how long of a train do we get with this? The Ferris wheel's in the way! Oh man! What if I go around it? Okay, so I went around it. Um, how long is this? Still the same length. Am I not able to make this longer? I am not. Okay. So back to constructing it. So the station doesn't need to be any longer than this. Let's maybe have four stations, one on each wall, or each side of this. So let's, uh... Oh, for goodness sake. Freaking roller coasters in the way. I never colored the roller coaster. I know you can't see it, except for this one corner, but I feel like we should color it. Let's make the track blue. And the trains are already blue. Let's make them red. Yeah. There we go. Much better. And we don't get to see the supports, so I'm not going to bother with the supports. That seems like a waste of energy. Okay, this is kind of working. Sort of. Maybe we pop out? Yeah, we pop out like that and uh, mess up this tree. Ah, oh, my... Oh, I messed up both of them. No! Do I have any shorter trees? Yes, I have short trees. Okay, we'll plant those there. I liked those trees. What the heck? <laughs> Footpath in the way. What? What? Okay, fine. We'll do something I try to avoid doing at all costs, which is making this... Never mind, this too tall. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll do something different. We will turn around like this. How do you like that, Roller Coaster Tycoon? How do you like that? See how genius and smart I am? See how genius and smart I am not? I mean... Ugh. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Let's put our station right here, and we'll have to connect it to this path network somehow. How long was this one? It was, a uh, one, two, three, four, five tiles? I don't know, I'm counting the wrong... Ah! Oh, I hit the zoom on this. Stop it! Let's see, where is it? This is... One... T I was counting the wrong station. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five tiles long. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. 
I think that Mary Ferris wheel is right in the way. Oh no, it isn't! Look at that! Perfect! Okay. Okay, where... where is it? Oh, it's over here. There's a pirate ship there. Okay, let's not do that. Um, and there's a Ferris wheel in the way. Maybe we... Oh, wait. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I thought I messed it up. Can we go around the pirate ship? Oh, look at that! We can go around it! That is so good. Uh, except that now we're out of the park. Darn it! Hold on. Let's uh go straight one more time. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're inside again. And we're right over this path, so we have to move over let's S band left and build not the station yet, let's make gifts and length first. Oh no, the ruler uh Can I Footpath is in the way. What about now? Oh, it's because it's at five feet. What if I put the station here? One, two, three, four, five. And then just come out? straight? Yeah, like that. And now we're lagging again. I may need to go through and clean up my game files, or my, my computer files, because I found the reason my computer was lagging in the past was because I had too many files. I did just re-download Civilization 6 again, and that was 20-something gigabytes, so maybe that's why. That reminds me, I actually, I was doing Civilization 6 videos on my channel at one point. I think I did three of them, and then I unlisted them all, because they weren't doing good, and I was, I was having anxiety that I was damaging my channel by producing them. Because I was under the notion that producing a video that does badly affects how the rest of your videos on your channel perform. I now think that's not the case. But they're still enlisted as of right now, so let me know in the comments. Would you like to see those? Would you like... Well, maybe not those ones, because they're enlisted and all the comments that were on them have been deleted. But would you like to see a new Civilization VI series? Let me know. That would be that would be a fun project. This isn't working! Eh, I really don't want to go up or down, because it makes the train slow! It makes it so slow! But we may have no choice. Let's go down to 15 feet. One, two, three, four, five... You know, I bet I'm going to get this all figured out just to find out that we're not going to be able to attach the paths to it because there's going to be no avenues to move our paths for, through. Oh, crap. That's the way. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> this is probably painful to watch. I am sorry. This is this sucks. Hold on. Let me turn the base land and vertical faces off so I can try to figure out where I am. Okay, so now I'm crashing into that. Maybe I should try to go back up to... Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, turn? We're, we're winding our way through there. Where's the original station? Oh, it's over there. Okay. This would be a good place to come back up, I think. And go over that track. Too high for supports. What? Huh? Huh? That can't be right. Or no, it's because I'm coming out of the ground. Uh, let's see. Hide vertical bases. Oh. Were the other stations at 15 feet? I can't remember. Let me see. Oh, yeah, they were. Okay, so I was trying to go too, too tall. That was my bad. Where? Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Okay, hide vertical faces. There it is. So now we're outside again, and there's a freaking haunted house there. That's a problem. Can I dodge it? I cannot. Well, shoot. Slap me thrice and hand me to me mama. That is a Mr. Gibbs line from Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, let's go up part of the way. And can I sneak through here? I cannot. Merry-go-round one still hasn't been fixed. Check where your mechanics are and consider organizing them better. Are they all busy? Yeah, most of them are busy. Okay, let's hire a few more. I would... If, if this was a flat scenario, I might consider marking their... Uh, assigning them zones like this. But I think that's a bad idea because we have so much verticality in this park with all with this rock and everything. So, bad idea. 
Let's turn this way. Let's not turn that way. <laughs> Let's go up here. Never mind. Let's not go up there. Let's go up there. Now we're at uh, negative five and stuff is in the way. How are we going to make this work? How are we going to make this work? Okay, the stand-up roller coaster is there. Okay, now it's coming together. Vertical drop coasters in the way. Still in the way. Okay. I think the where we hitting the loop. Or no, we're under this helix. Oh, okay. Let's turn a little sooner. Um Yeah. So there should be a station here. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're really close to our first station, so I guess we'll just make this one mosey about a little bit, just so the ride duration is somewhat consistent and crash into stuff. I can't see what I'm doing. Hide vertical faces, hide base land. Let's hide paths. Can I hide paths? Uh, see through paths. Ooh, look at that. That's a massive improvement. So I need to connect to this somehow. There we go! Look at that! Okay, let's bring the pads back. Now I need to figure out a way to make these connect with everything. I'm not confident I'll be able to do it! <laughs> this is gonna be really hard! Oh my goodness, what was I thinking when I started this project? See-through supports, that might have been a good idea. That's... okay, that's slightly better. Not much better. Where is it? Aha! Here we go. This was a bad idea. What was I thinking? Okay, this one will connect here, I think. So let's put the entrance over there, the exit right he here. One more station, where is it? I have lost track of it. Oh, it's over here. Look at all these tiles that I can't put the entrance on. My goodness. Now the question is, can I connect this to things? I don't think so. <laughs> How do I do this? Let's see. Maybe come out like this? Maybe? Yeah, like this. Maybe. If I go down like so. Yes! Okay, the exit connected there. We connected one exit. Now we have to do everything else. <laughs> We're going to get notifications that the path system is too confusing. Let's see. What we need to do... Whoops, wrong button. Height marks on paths. So this is a negative 15. We need to bring it up to negative 5. So let's go up. Not up. Uh, down. Yeah, something like that. No, that was wrong. Okay. Bring this back up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So that one connected. That's one station. Now we have three more. What was I thinking? We have to do this three more times. Okay. Exit. We need to go down to negative five. So that one connected. That's, okay, this one will be pretty easy, I think. Go away from the station so we can go down under it. Now come up. Come up and there we go. That's station number two. Station number three. This is gonna be challenging. Um, let's see. Okay, that did not help. <laughs> let's see. Hide, hide, see through rides. Okay, that is a haunted house, so we have to go back inside like this. Whoa, did, did that connect? No, uh, come back. Hide vertical faces. <gasps> it connected, yes! Yes! Alright, perfect. 
Now let's do the same for comeback rides. Do something similar for this. Let's make it come around. Actually, this is going to be harder than I thought. Okay, go down, under it. Bad idea. Let's go the other way. That doesn't work either. Uh, go straight. Oh, this comes out. Can I connect to anything outside? I don't see anything to connect to at all. Okay, high vertical faces. Okay, I have a feeling I should have done this. There we go, yes! So that's the third station connected. One more, where is it? I think it's the one over here. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. This one over here, right, right, right. Okay, hide vertical faces. Yeah, isn't this confusing? It looks like this exit is connected to this path because it lined, it's lined up just perfectly. But really it's not, it's, it's like hovering over it. Okay, that didn't work. Let's go down first. Flatten out. That's a roller coaster. Uh, let's not do that. Turn around. There we go. Connect there. Same deal with this one, except there's a roller coaster in the way. Okay, I think we can actually open this. Yes! Woo, let's go! Four trains. Let's go five trains. And set this, I'm gonna leave that where it is, and open! Woo! Maybe I should have tested it first. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that'll elevate the soft guest cap just a tad. And this bare spot is begging for some, for some excite- Oh, we are getting a burger bar there soon. This spot is begging to have some roller coasters. Or, what am I saying? Begging to have some flight rides. I think this scenario is making, uh, driving me insane, honestly. <laughs> It's hard. I don't like it. It's really hard. Wrong tab. Close that. Let's grab this. Or maybe not that. We can uh, grab the spiral slide. Another spiral slide, I must add. Open. Max number of riders. Turn this down to a dollar so people will actually use it. And yes, I know. No one can reach it. Okay, now there's room for two more spiral slides. The easiest spammed flat ride, I think, in the game. Max number five riders. Let's have another one right here. Open. Make it cheap. And five riders. Okay. Now, what else do we have to work with? Let's put another pirate ship over here. That'll be fun. Eggs first. To the entrance. Perfection! And this is the third one, actually. So we have three of these. But I think we can still get away with three dollars. Yeah, look at that. Someone just walked right in. So that's good. Three dollars for that. And is our park... Oh, yeah, our guest count's going down. Did these... Oh, it's because these expired. That's why. Okay. Look, we have six figures. We have a lot of money. We are about halfway through year three. We're past halfway, actually. Let's see, Spinning Wild Mouse 1 for 12 weeks. Vouchers for free food. Let's do free fries again. And free rides on, let's see, the stand-up roller coaster. Why not? Just get more people into the park. They will spend their money elsewhere. That's all the same to me? Nice. Okay, so this will climb back up. Because we had doubled the objective before, but now that the ad campaigns expired, all of the guests we generated artificially have left. But as you can see, we have droves of people coming to the park, so that's good. Methinks we need more trees. Let's grab some oak trees, some birch trees, and some spruce trees. Where's the spruce? Ah, red fir? No, I don't want a Caucasian fir. There was a spruce in here somewhere. But they're all conifers. Here we go, a Norway spruce tree.
Okay. Man, what a headache this place is. Do I have room to fit a Sphinx here? What the heck? Why is it going up there? I could fit one here. Oh, I should probably save that spot for... Nah, no flat rides. We don't need it. No flat rides there. But yeah, this place is coming together beautifully. I mean, as beautiful as an ugly rock in the middle of the desert can come together, but it's coming together. And I'm proud of what we've done so far. I don't think we can... I don't think we can fit any more roller coasters on this, honestly. We're pretty cramped as it is. But we can optimize and decorate and make it pretty. And optimize like turning the price down in this so people will actually ride it. There we go, now people are riding it. The Woody still has people going on it, that's good. So does the vertical drop coaster. I can't see the stand-up roller coaster, but that's still pretty new, so I think it should... Yeah, there's four people on it, not a lot. This is still having people... So yeah, things are going well. Look at all this space we wasted, though. But it doesn't look wasted if we plant things on it, right? Weeping willow tree, okay. We got a few splashes of color, a few trees, livening the place up. Let's get some fruit trees as well. And as I like to say, they're, they're also known as wasp attractants. Because the wasps love fruit trees, where they come and they suck on the fruit that has fallen to the ground, and they get drunk on the residual alcohol inside of it. <laughs> so you get stung by drunk wasps. That's something that cracks me up. Let's see. Okay, I know I just planted it, but I want to put this here. Ferris wheel right there. And connect this to the main path. There we go. Oh, and uh, make this cheap so people will actually ride it. Yeah, I don't know what else to do at this point. We're not even through year... We're not even through year three yet, and we still... We've... we've well, we, we did double j the objective earlier. Yeah, you can see right here, it climbed just shy of 2,000 and it started declining since I forgot to restart my ad campaigns. But that'll quickly change since I have the ad campaigns running again, and also because I have added additional rides to raise the soft guest cap uh, organically. So, yeah, we're, we, we've done good. Now we just have to endure to the end, I guess. Now, is the path right on the edge there? Oh, yes, it is. Look at that. So let's find some short, small, diminutive, pathetic flat rides to plant here. Like a Ferris wheel. That's open. Let's turn the price down. And maybe a Ferris... I almost said a Ferris wheel. <laughs> Merry-go-round four. Oh, what's wrong with me? Oh, for goodness sake. You know, I'm kind of missing the merry-go-round music, so let's turn this off. And if I get copyright claimed, I'll just uh, go into the video editor and turn the volume down and re-upload it, just like I did for the last video to fix it. Because no one owns this. I mean, Chris Sawyer owns it, but this is Chris Sawyer. I, I'm pretty sure Chris Sawyer is okay with people playing his games on YouTube with the music turned on. So like, for example, let me, I don't know the name of this one. That's the same one. I don't know that one either. I might know that one. Ah, uh, whatever it is. These are, uh, these are basically productions of classical music played through, uh, well, I think Alistair Brimble, I can't remember the name of the program he used, but he's done it with a fairground organ style instrument selection but yeah this is a recording of classical music and the classical music itself is free to use anyone can use it without regard to copyright or anything because it's all it's ancient it's like two like some of these are like two older than 200 years oh uh, more than 200 years old i could have worded that better <laughs> but so they're so they're super old that's what i'm saying now 
Chris Sawyer owns the rights to that music, but I don't know if he's enforcing that or if he doesn't want people playing it on YouTube. Because I'm not publishing the music, I'm publishing the game or recordings of the game that have the music, which, if anything, promotes the game. So I'm pretty sure Chris Sawyer is perfectly cool with videos like this, with his music in it. I think it's just the YouTube copyright ID system that was making a, a mistake. And it only happens like maybe every other upload. So like with there's all this noise going on and also because I'm talking, this probably won't get me in trouble. But in the previous video, what got me in trouble was I was silent for a few seconds because I was focusing on, de on designing a roller coaster. So the only thing that you could hear was the merry-go-round. So YouTube detected that, I guess. I don't know. Let's stop talking about copyrights and start talking about designing better roller coasters. Or Ferris wheels, I don't know. And there was a path there, now there isn't. Or not a path, there was a bench there, now there isn't. I am so scatterbrained today, my goodness. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll explain why. Uh, the reason is I went on a trip, uh, a very long trip, to go help someone uh, install a sauna. Because of my skill set, I know how to use the power tools and stuff. So I went with them to install this sauna, and it was supposed to be... Well, the, the drive there was four and a half to five hours. And assembling the thing was supposed to take maybe two to three hours, but there was a host of problems. Tons of problems. The, uh, the factory... Uh, the, the instruction manual was incomplete. There was a lot of components that weren't in the manual. The company that owns the saunas have instructional videos on how to assemble it. The videos were produced poorly. Like where the, the guy recording it would stumble on his words and say it four or five times, but they didn't cut it or edit it or do anything to improve it. They just left it. <laughs> and you have to watch for like 10 minutes at a time as someone is just wiring something after they explained how to do it. So it's like, okay, I get the point. Let's move on. But then I'm scared to skip ahead because I don't know if I'll miss something important, so I end up sitting there for extra time. Uh, anyway, the point is, lousy instructional video for a model that we weren't even building. It was for a different model with different parts. So the and there was a bunch of a bunch of factory issues, like the the power cord to the sauna comes out of the roof for some reason. And the sauna is seven feet tall. And the power cord was eight feet long. Now think about that for a minute and understand how ridiculous that is. It's like, if you want to plug into something, yeah, <laughs> unless the sauna is parked right in front of the outlet, which we got lucky in a, and after some finagling and jostling, we got it to plug in. But <laughs> that's like, you only have one additional foot of length on there because the, the, the length of the cord is eight feet long on a seven foot sauna where it's coming out of the ceiling. That's, that's just hilarious. So that was one of many problems. So we ended up uh, spending the night and working on it again pretty much all day the second day and then finally drove home last night, yesterday, another four, a four and a half to five hour drive. So what should, what should have been a drive out there, build it, come back all on the same day, ended up being a 48 hour ordeal, which was ridiculous. So, or 36 hours, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, so traveling, sleeping in the car, sleeping in weird places, and uh, it was just, I wasn't driving. I drive for part of it. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't pretty, so I'm a little tired. <laughs> That's the reason why. Uh, let's see. Where can I, oops. So I am a little scatterbrained as a consequence of the headache of all that. But hey, we got the sauna working. It turned out very good, despite all the factory errors. I think I might be able to slip this in right there. A very small one. So let's, uh... Okay, so that's over there. So let's turn this here. Facing the wrong direction. Shift, drag, oops, and place it. Close that. And this, like the other things I've talked about, the length of the, uh of the track itself determines the length of the... Something's in the way! No! <laughs> the length of the track, as I'm saying, determines the length or the, the number of boats you get. What's in the way? No! This is so hard, I can't see a thing! <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? This scenario sucks! 
I'm just kidding. It's, it's fun. It's lots of fun. I promise. I swear. And why am I not putting rapids on this? I should be making this more interesting. Rapids. Not that it matters. You can't see it once we're above ground. Okay, this is silly. Vertical faces. Hide that. Oh! I backed myself into the corner. Yeah, because that's where the... No, 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 come back. Where, where was it? <laughs> that's where there's the... the the spiral roller coaster is. Not the spiral, the st the stand-up roller coaster. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's put rapids on here. I think we came out of the ground, didn't we? Let me see. Oh, no, we didn't. We came right up to the edge of it. Okay, hide that again. Let's put waterfalls in this. Or, oh, whirlpool school. Waterfalls. I think we've gone over the path. Let's drop down. No, something's in the way. What's in the way? Too low. Oh, I get it. Okay. That's the challenge. Is That's one of the bugs in OpenRCT2, apparently, is I can't see what the problem is because the, the pop-up disappears immediately, which doesn't make any sense. It should pop up and stay up for a few seconds at least so I can see what the problem is, but it goes away. Oh, the roller coaster's in the way. Uh, whoops. Let's go straight and drop. There we go. Finally. I found a spot where I had room. I wonder if I can go through... If I can go under this... I wonder if I can go under this... Oh, not there. If I can go under the corkscrew like this... Look at that! I did it! I went through the corkscrew. And now I've backed myself up. Uh... Oh, bad idea! Bad idea! I shouldn't have done that. Let's go around the corkscrew, actually. Go over here. Oh, I went through another one. Okay, I went through another corkscrew. I don't know if there's a minimum drop height on this, or a minimum drop requirement. If there is, I probably missed it. What's in the way? The monorail's in the way. Okay, see through paths. See through guests. See through vehicles. That's still not helping. Where, where am I? Now I've completely lost it. I have no idea where it is. No! Where was I? Oh, I'm under here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Can I go up here? Nope, that's a corkscrew. Okay. Something's in the way there. Break that. Go straight. The wooden wild mouse is in the way, so let's turn around and try to work our way back over. Yes, I think we did it. I think we did it. Whoa, 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 what's in the... Oh, no. That's a problem. I can't even... Oh, no, look at that. They, they can share a tile, kind of, with the corners. Perfect. Ah, oh, that was that was a headache. My goodness. <laughs> that sucks. Let's build our paths. Let's try to build our paths. I mean, are the paths to see through? Uh, whoops. See through supports. No, it's uh, where, where are we? There we go. Okay. Connect to that exit. Okay. And now I can't see it. Well, that's fine. Let's just uh, turn the minimum wait time off. Make this... Well, let's not change the price yet. Let's see what the stats are. So let's speed up. Wait till we get a result. I'm not even going to try to watch it. It's a, it's a River Rapids. Who cares? Who wants to watch that? <laughs> and there we go. Nice. Okay, I think we could probably charge $6 for it. Maybe. I'm just making that number up. But the question is, will people get on it for $6? Yeah, people are on it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Nice. And we're at the very end of year three, so we have one more year of this to deal with. Oh my goodness. I might just fast forward the whole thing, honestly. This is this is a pain. Oh boy. Well, I could try doing another tier. But oh what a mess. I don't uh, I don't even want to try building in there. It's too hard. And I don't want to spam any more than I already have spammed. I've spammed so much as it is. 
There's so much spamage happening. Like, what is this? Number 14? <laughs> this is spiral slide number 14. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, well, let's uh, I'll build it anyway. I'm building it anyway. Set this to one dollar. One dollar per admission. There we go. Now these tiles are not being used. Let's plant some trees on them. Or maybe some shrubs. Whoa, whoa, what the? Oh, I messed up that tile. Hold on, I wanna fix that. That's funny looking. Or no, I didn't mess it up. What? Why was the bush under grant? Huh? Huh? That's a bug if I ever seen one. <laughs> and then it gets fixed. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> planting bushes in front of it fixed it. That's hilarious. We have a little bush right here under the roller coaster. Fun little detail. And it gets splashed. Deserved. Okay. Oh, I like this detail. I don't know if I've ever noticed. But Oh, it actually did move. Perfect. The umbrellas on the stall actually changed color. That's cool. I see lots of them, lots of balloons, and not a lot of balloons flying away. But I don't know. If a balloon starts flying away, I don't know if it's just layered on top of everything else behind it. We have go-karts, and I don't know where the heck I could possibly build them. Well, we should at least try. Maybe. Maybe these higher tiers, like right here. So if we go underground here... There's not a lot of things in the way here, is there? Right? So maybe... Maybe if I, uh, let's see, height marks on paths. Uh, I still can't see. Hide. Hide base land. That didn't help. Uh, hide vertical faces. Okay, 55. Okay, so if I can... Let's see, height marks on my tracks. Grab the go-karts. Oh, we have a swinging inverter ship. I didn't realize we had that. Nice. Let's bring this over here. Drag it down to negative or to positive 55. And we can't pop out there because it's too tall for us. Uh, never mind. It's <laughs> bad idea. Let's break. come back a little bit. There we go. Just have a really long straightaway. Boom. And now I can't see a thing. We'll just do this. Transparent. And connect these like so. Look at that, we managed to do it. Fancy that. Let's make these five. No, no, no come back. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> I killed it. Five dollars for the go-karts. It looks like our ad campaigns are finishing. Oh, look at that. We've climbed back up above 1800. Let's restart this. We are in year four now, so that's good. Coming towards the end of this rather difficult scenario. Uh, free food or drink. Let's go free cotton candy. That reminds me, we have burgers and I forgot to build those. And free rides on the Pirate Ship 3. Because that's the first thing my eyes landed on. Okay, let's build the burger bar before I forget. Boom! Or I mean boom. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> okay. And now for the swinging inverter ship. The first one, not spammed. This is the first of its kind in this park. I can proudly say. And I don't think I have any more room on the uh, outside of the park. It's all filled up. Completely filled up. Yeah, there's no room left anywhere. <laughs> okay, let's find another spot for it. Uh, maybe up here. It's four tiles wide. Okay, that's over the queue line. Let's not do that. Um, hmm. <laughs> we could hide it all the way back here, but now there's no room for the entrance or exit. Why can't I place the entrance and exit? Oh, here we go. There's just trees in the way. Sorry, Mr. Oak Tree, but you hope you don't. Re uh, I hope you realize I actually have great pleasure in deleting you from the world. After what I went through last week in Rainbow Valley, 
You must understand. You're next! Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, we like trees. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> $5 for this swinging invertership. Let's replant that oak tree. Okay. And, uh, what else can we do? More birch trees. Actually, we have a lot of birch trees. Let's do some... Magnolia. There we go. Mongolia. Mike, does this look like Mongolia to you? Best teaser trailer ever. The Monsters, Inc. teaser trailer. The original one. So funny. I miss those old days of, of uh, Pixar, where they were still innovating and still figuring out what they were doing, but they had so much creativity going. It's like, nowadays, they still produce good, decent movies sometimes, but it just feels... It feels like it's a cookie cutter. But I guess it's more just Disney through Pixar's animation branch. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I just know that I liked their older stuff better. But then I grew up with that stuff, so maybe I'm just biased. Let's see. We could do with more bathrooms, I think. Let's put one there. Never mind. There's one right next to it. Uh, delete that. Put it over here. Right there. For 30 cents. Let's place another one underground. Let's see, what do I want to aim for? Oh, that actually was that actually lined up perfectly. Look at that. See if it rides. That made the bathroom invisible. The bathroom's not a ride. I was trying to see if it connected to the path, but I can't even see it. <laughs> oh, this scenario sucks. Oh my gosh. It is a challenge. It really is a challenge. But look at what we've done. And we've more than doubled the objective, as I said. We have six figures of in of a of a cash. We're consistently making about fifteen thousand per month. A little October kind of fell off. That might have been because that's when the ad campaigns expired. But yeah, we're doing good. Let's do an inventory of our rides again. This appears to have nobody on it because it's too expensive. So let's drop that to one fifty. Revitalize that ride. There we go. One person. Now people are getting on. Zero people on the loopers. Well, how is that? That was what I was afraid of. Too expensive. Let's change that to $8, or maybe even, let's just make it $5. We're not hurting for money. We just need people off the paths and on the rides so the park rating doesn't drop. Okay. Now this one, oh, that's the one we just updated. The other one seems to be okay. merry go round two. Nobody riding it, probably because it's too expensive. Even though that's the default price, which is hilarious. The monorail is still on test run. I forgot to open it. Ah, uh, what, <laughs> what was wrong with me? What's wrong with me? <laughs> ah, okay. Make this eight dollars. I am going insane. I swear. Spiral slide. What? Oh, I forgot to turn the price down on these. Oh wait, no, I did turn the price down. They're just not popular. While they do have an income, kind of. They're just not popular at all. Oh well. The, it, they don't, they're not meant to produce profit themselves. They're meant to draw people into the park so they ride everything else, which generate profit, I guess. Okay, let's see. Let's speed things up because I don't want to wait for this. Oh, look at it go. It's like clockwork. Spin wheel, spin! Spin Ferris wheel! <laughs> it's nice to have a bird's eye view over everything. We have a few balloons flying away. And that's the thing, is like, uh... Let's see if we can find a balloon flying away here, lower to the ground. I don't see any, never mind. Because I think if one would be underground, it'll just, it'll just show it as if it's in front of everything. Because I think that's probably how it was... I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm going to guess that's how everything was programmed. But I don't know. That's just my guess. Let's build one of these underground. Make it invisible. That, that didn't work. Uh, under uh, It's not working. <laughs> okay, I guess I can't build this underground. Maybe on top of these? <laughs> Why would I do this, though? That's so silly. That wouldn't, le wouldn't look good at all. There's, there's nowhere I can build it. Okay, fine. Put that there. And put some flowers in front of it. Bing bang. Maybe a palm tree, because everything's dry out here. Boom. 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 Boom! Okay. A few more palm trees wouldn't hurt. 
I'm gonna leave this fast forwarded while we're here while we're at it. Because I don't wanna wait. Let's see. Lots of notifications popping up. But most of them sort themselves out after a second. It's just because the the uh, these flowers these flowers seem to be watered. Uh-oh. Where's one of these guys? Come here, buddy. I need you to water these flowers for me. Boop, boop, boop. See that? And then they pop. Turn turn pink again. Beautiful thing. <laughs> I bet this area could be spruced up. What we could do to, to, to make that look nicer is make this green. Make this whole thing look green. These notifications are so fast. And with that, put fences around it like this. I think I placed these in the wrong spots. They were supposed to be on the inside, not the outside tile. There we go. Lovely. Just little details like that improve it a lot. And we are racing through the second half of the scenario. Now we're in the 2000s of guests. My goodness. And because this is a pay-per-ride park, the income just keeps going up until they run out of money and they have to go home. At which point they get recycled because the soft guest cap gets... Well, these guys are going home because look at this guy. He spent all of his money. He has 20 cents left. And this guy is <laughs> he's a walking zombie. What's wrong with this guy? What happened to him? Well, he spent all of his money, so that's good. But yeah, as they go home, that opens the uh, the capacity of the park back up for new guests to generate, who hopefully have cash, which we can cash in on and take all their money from them. <laughs> that's one of the great things about Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 that is not an... Oh, I did not see that. One of the great things about Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 that is not in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 is the cash machine. Which allows you, allows the guests to restock their their coffers, their pockets, and stay in the park forever. So you'll find you'll find guests that have literally spent thousands of dollars. It's hilarious. Spent their whole life savings on the park. Okay, let's open escape hatch. Set this to ten dollars. It doesn't have the scenery around it that would make it more exciting, so I'd imagine I can't charge twelve that I normally would charge. But that's cool, we have a vertical drop go not vertical, vertical drop coaster. I mean we do have one right here. We have a launched free fall. I got it mixed up. Swinging inverter ship one has broken down. That's a shame. How are these guys holding up? Oh my goodness, they are so busy. Let's hire a few more. Let's hire some more handymen. Okay, so that should do it. Yeah, because we have 2,000 guests crammed into this tiny little park. <laughs> Yep, that's what we did. And we built all of these. We have built all of these. Oh, we haven't built this. I didn't see that. We have a new ride. Nice. Let's try to build it towards the middle somewhere. Yeah, like right here. It started at 80, so let's go to 280. The exit there. Entrance there. Fire it up. Okay. And connect to the path. Perfect. I'm going to leave that at $1. We're not pressed for cash. That's fine the way it is. Okay. And that'll raise the soft guest cap as well. Now this is going so well. And we're fleshing out the blank spots in the middle of this thing. So we're halfway through year four. Part, not well, in large part because I fast forwarded most of it. But we're making major progress. I think it's time to start decorating some more. So let's grab some bushes and just plant them everywhere. Like the shrubs on a rocky peak. Oh, the advertising campaign's just wrapped up. Let's restart those. Let's see, 12, 12 weeks, it's roughly three months. So June, July, August, September. So we have plenty of time. Let's advertise ultraviolet again. And free, let's go free burgers. Free burgers and free rides on the, the car ride. Why not? Boom. Okay. Those are already started now. Let's put some statues on this cliff. Never mind, that won't work. 
Although, I can make it work. Like this. Just one statue. Overlooking the world below him. Frowning down upon all these inferior mortals. As opposed to his immortal stone-facedness. No, stop doing the... <laughs> Why is it... What is wrong with this, this scenario? This, it, uh, I don't know what the deal is. No... <laughs> Why does it bring me out here? <laughs> you guys are all probably laughing at me in the comments. I, it is kind of funny, I guess. It's annoying for me, but for you guys, it's just part of the experience, I guess. Uh, where do, uh... Lots of trees. Lots of trees to grow in this. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> They're green-faced. Oh, this guy's actually getting better. So that's what's nice about the benches, is that they have a chance to let their nausea kind of cool down a little bit. So as he sits here, his energy goes back up, and his nausea gradually goes down. So that's why it's so nice. You guys actually are the ones who told me that I should put benches, uh, concentrate benches on the ex around the exits of thrill rides, especially like this one. I should probably, uh, probably do that now that I'm thinking about it. It, it saves a lot of headache later and keeps people from vomiting on the path so much by having benches around the exits of super intense rides like this one with high nausea ratings. And watch, these are going to fill right up. Well, maybe not immediately. If we have some sick people coming off, let's see. Oh, wrong, wrong exit. What am I doing? It's this exit. <laughs> well, this guy sat down. Oh yeah, he's totally sick. <laughs> anyway, let's fast forward again. And let's this thing go crazy! Woohoo! Uh, recap. My questions from earlier. Would you like to see me restart, or maybe start a new Civilization VI series? Is that something you would be interested in watching on this channel? If so, let me know in the comments. Uh, do you enjoy the Civilization III videos? If so, let me know in the comments. If not, let me know in the comments as well. Because those, you know, that's a lot of time to produce them and they don't tend to do very well. So, maybe I should just dis discontinue those. I don't know. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, uh, Park Attack Planet Coaster is another one on my radar, but that looks like a very big, hefty game. And that brings another question to my mind I was thinking about, is I started producing these videos, at least with a basic knowledge of the game, because I've played it for years since I was a kid. But Park Attack and Planet Coaster, I've never played those before. So from a viewer's perspective, what is entertaining to you? Watching a total noob get confused and just totally lost trying to figure out a new game that you enjoy? Or do you want to see someone who's experienced and knows what they're doing and can talk and be confident as they play? Uh, let me know in the comments, because I, I feel like I can't start playing it until I start recording, because I feel like I'm losing an opportunity by not recording the first few exp exposures to the game. But then people have also commented on these videos that they appreciate seeing someone who's competent at the game. At least, it, like this game. So I'm not sure what to do. Should I should I buy Planet Coaster and start playing it in my free time, just so when I start producing videos on it, I at least have the basics understood? Or should I start recording immediately after I buy it, so you can all enjoy the the learning curve with me as I as I clumsily clunk around and fail at the at the game? <laughs> let, let me know. Let me know. Vertical Drop Coaster 1 still hasn't been fixed. Well, that's because these guys are busy. It is July now. July 30th. Now we're in August. September, October. Just three more months and this is done. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited. I want to be done. This, this scenario is hard. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, let's... Ooh, this is cool. Let's just have some random decorations like this. And unfortunately, the, the roofs don't slope the way I would want them to. Darn it! Okay, I guess we just have columns with no nothing to go with it. Unless... Do I have sloped roof pieces that don't have the thick base like this? Let me see. I don't see anything that does. It's like, it looks like this. Well, it's a roof piece, but it's not a wedge. It's just a, it's just a line. Or a, 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 I don't know, it doesn't have the bottom part of it. It's like this, but only half of it. I don't know how to say that. But that would probably wouldn't connect, though. Meh. 
I wonder, can I put, can I put doors on these? Oh man, I was hoping I could do it. Oh well. I guess it doesn't work with the monorail. Does it work with the... No, it doesn't work with that. I know it works with the car ride, but that's underground and I don't want to go looking for it. Oh, it probably works with the wild mouse, actually. Let me try. Let me try. Let's turn off supports. Turn off supports and turn off vegetation so I can kind of see. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Woo! Let's make this black and white with a red door. Have another one right here. Oh, that's so cool. It's the little details like this that make the game so great. I gotta say. Put one there, and one more. That is not where it's supposed to go. Let me get a better view from here. Ah, here we go. Oh, wrong roller coaster. What am I doing? <laughs> it's supposed to go here. There we go. Although maybe I shouldn't have made them black. Let's make them instead brown so they blend with the ground behind them. Kind of. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. That's neat. I like that. Hmm. Well, I don't know what else to do. We have 2,273 guests. We almost have 200,000. I wonder if we can get to 200,000 by the end of the scenario. Probably not. Probably not because... Uh, the actions that I could take to try to do that also cost money and I don't have enough time afterward to let them come to fruition. So I guess we just wait it out, but we're probably not going to make 12,000. Well, actually, no, 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 no. We can. If we just look at our financials, we could easily do it. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, we just look at our net increase of cash. So, like, I spent money in June. It looks like I spent a lot of money in marketing, so that's why we only made 7,000, but otherwise we have a pretty steady income of about 15,000. And we have three months, so we will easily get to 200,000. I just wasn't mathing like I should have been. I wasn't being smart. But now that I'm thinking about it, that'll be easy. We just have to not spend too much. But I'll spend a little bit. Put some decorations around, why not? It's fun. And this spot just looks so sad, it needs stuff. So let's plant some... Do we have cactus? Oh, we do, look at that. Let's plant some cactus around here. Just so it's not so lonely over here. Maybe some shrubs. Do I have, like, drier looking shrubs? Warmer colors. Well, these look like they've been pr uh, pruned and stuff. I don't know. Uh, it looks less empty now, so that's okay. We just, we just won't look at it anymore. How about over here? This could use some shrubbery. Just a few. Just some random shrubs up there. What else can we add? Shrub. Shrub-a-dub! What are we working on? Oh, pop popcorn! We're going to unlock... Oh, we just got it. Let's get some popcorn, everybody! Woo! And play, put it right here. And I messed up my fence. Okay, I don't like that. Let's move it. Move it over. Leave it at the default. Cheap popcorn, everybody. Come get your cheap popcorn. And that reminds me I need to make the balloons cheap. Because I want... I want my balloon release to be glorious. What? Wrong. Wrong thing. Are these the same type? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. So let's find the balloons. That's the wrong tab. Let's grab our balloons and change the price to free so they start selling like crazy. And hopefully get a magnificent mo uh, balloon release at the end of this scenario. And I wonder if I turn the land off, can we see the people underground with balloons? Yeah, they have balloons. So I want to see if when they let go of their balloons, if they will be underground still, or if they'll phase through the ground and disappear on top of everything. Uh, anyway. Oh, we have another another ride. A very compact one, too. Perfect. Let's place it right here. Not, not there. Let's find a spot for it that it actually fits. Which is not there, clearly.
There's like nowhere to put it. Oh, here we go. Just build it up a little bit. There we go. And these look silly. Hold on. Real riders. Open. Default price. See if I care. And now, turn these fences off. There we go. Perfect. I am going to change the color of these supports, though. Never mind, I can't change them. But it's fine. I like it. I like it. We are in September now, so we only have one month left. I'm going to change this monorail and make it white. And leave the trains the color they are. I kind of like them. Or better idea. Different colors per train. So train one is that color. Train two will be a muted... Uh, yeah, cyan. With It's like the ocean with clouds over it. Train three will be something like... Uh, I don't know. Dark yellow with a... We're going with muted pastel colors today, folks. Let's make this one the same color as the canopy and make the canopy white. And the last one will be green. Uh, dark green. With a gray, gray canopy. There we go. So now they're all unique colors. Neat. Very neat. Anyway, I'm proud of this. This turned out really nice. Let's do a quick inventory. Make sure everything has riders, which these do not. Probably because there's just too many people and they're, they're not interested in them. Monorail 1 has no people on it? What? I'm not paying that much to go on Monorail 1. Fine. I'll make it free. Now will you ride it? Ho <laughs> ho, I think you will. You will ride it and you will love it. There is no choice in the matter. Let's make this cheaper. Because it's too expensive right now. And uh, we're the wild mouse has nobody on it either. Oh, because it's still at the original price. Let's just slash it in half. Cut it down to size. Okay. And just as I predicted, we are at 200,000. Nice. Okay, this looks kind of silly, if I'm honest. <laughs> and I love how they're banging their heads on the, on the ceiling as they come out. That's hilarious. Well, there's no one on this one, so I guess no one banged their head. And this is at full capacity. That must be because we have so many people in the park. Okay, let's fast forward. Look at it go. No path from its exit. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Hold on. See through vegetation. Oh, I forgot. Hey, let's put the exit on. And that's a problem. You know what? It's fine. They just fall onto the path. So we're going to leave it. See if I care. Ho ho. That's how it's going to be. We're in September. Now we're in October. Nice. We're on the last, the final stretch. And it looks like these all finished. So let's restart them just for these last few weeks. Because I don't want I don't want to make the uh I don't want to make the guest count drop. I want to maintain it, keep it as high as possible for fun. Free drinks. And free rides on none other than the looping roller coaster. Woo! Okay. Back to fast forwarding. Whoops, I paused it. <laughs> The fast forward button is another feature that's not available in the original game, so you had to wait it out the slow way. Look at it go. It's like clockwork. I think it's better from this side, honestly. This is the good angle. Okay, we're in the last, uh, the last stretch of October. Did these just finish already? Yeah, they finished already. Look at that. Restart. Restart. Not ultraviolet. Restart. Free rides on sheer cliffs. Boop. And fast forward. Woohoo! The last few days of October. October 29th. October 30th. October 31st. Let's go to regular speed. Now the moment of truth. Will the balloons phase through the ground? Oh, you probably won't be able to tell anyway. <laughs> Three... Two, never mind. I got the timing off. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at how the company value is. My goodness. And caps lock is on. Whoops. Beautiful. 
Thunder Rock completed. As always, thank you everyone for watching. This was maybe a little less fun than usual because this scenario was a headache. But I had fun uh, banging my head on it. It was pretty interesting. <laughs> if you enjoyed it more than I did, which you probably did, you probably laughed at me the whole time, be sure to like and subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, click the bell if you want so you're notified when new videos come out. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.